Hi everybody, Wax Fraud here, and welcome into my 5,000 days video. I was just up here enjoying the sunrise on Rainbow Mountain because, uh, you know, 5,000 days, I've never hit that before, and I'm pretty excited. Just flying around Rainbow Mountain from the other community center over to the Shepherd's Trading Hall, just taking a look at what we've done. And last time for the 4,000 days video, we did defeat another Wither just to get another beacon, but I think this time there's a couple advancements that we have not really gotten to yet, so I think if we get about three of them done right now, that would be, uh, that'd be pretty cool. First things first, right in the center of town, let's go ahead and make an iron golem, because we just haven't done this yet, and you know what? Hired help, that's an achievement that uh, we needed to get. Also wanted to head over here to the starter house because I have a fishing rod with me that only has mending on it and I had, I don't know why but I have yet to ever do any fishing in this game at all. So we got luck of the C3 on it and lure 3 to put on it. Now we have an OP fishing rod. Over at the fishing docks because it's only right to get over here and there we go. Fishy business. Are you kidding me? That's too advanced. That was the first time I ever fished and I got a fish. Before I go get the third advancement, there's actually something all the way over here at the auto sheep shearing wool farm that I noticed. And I don't know how this happened, but maybe I'm thinking lightning hit this, but we have six oak fence gates that were here that were never placed. And I'm hoping that I didn't actually just forget that when I built this thing because that's like months ago that's like maybe a half a year ago that i built this but anyways for that third advancement let's go ahead and uh, let's find ourselves a goat we have a lot of snow on the top of a meadow and i think i see some goat horns and yep that is a goat right oh there's actually two goats right here hold on bud i'm coming over let's uh let's get you in a boat i'm trying to be on a boat with a goat right now see this right here just get in that boat yeah he's in the boat all right there we go i'm on a boat with a goat I hate to do it, but I'm actually just going to leave this guy here, and I will be back. There's a goat sanctuary that's going to be coming very, very soon. Flying back in, though, it is good to be back. I am loving this place now. 5,000 days in, and here's a to another 1,000 days. I really do appreciate all the support. It means so much that you guys are here watching the videos, and yeah, just thank you so much. Without further ado, let's get into this video compilation, and thanks again, guys. Hi everybody, Wax Fraud here, and welcome back to episode 30 of the Hardcore Minecraft Let's Play series. Right now, I'm actually chilling right on top of the Creeper Farm AFK platform. It's nice and cozy up here. We'll probably turn this into some sort of hot air balloon or some sort of blimp-looking structure, but I want to hop down to the goal board real quick to discuss exactly what we're doing today. Plop right in here. Turtle, what are you doing floating on the water? Um, that's weird. Get, get off the lily pad. What are you doing? There you go, bud run over here so we got bamboo farm butcher trading hall shepherd's trading hall and the armorer trading hall i'm thinking today in order to maybe trade for some more iron let's do some armorer trading hall in fact i'm actually just going to take it off the board right now so we can get it done now this is going to mean a lot of villager relocation from this area but we love relocating villagers we're doing it all the time real quick before we do anything we have something that we actually need to take care of gonna run right over into the horse stable we have humphrey and herb that are about to join all the horses here we have hachu we have hector right here uh we have horace right here we also have harry this is henry abanero right here this guy doesn't have a name how about you just be herb and how about you sir right here how about you just be humphrey nice guys keep the h names coming with the horses i'm loving all the comments uh we've already been relocating a lot of the villagers over here what's up my man how you doing but, uh, yeah, so we're gonna have, uh, an easy time relocating a lot of the villagers over here for the trading hall. Also, before I forget, though, there is a long play that came out before this episode came out, and I'd like to show you guys that it's actually all the way on the other side of the island. We drop in past the bee sphere and past the lava farm, take a quick left turn, we're gonna go bing, bang, boop, and we are here. So this is a lush cave pathway that goes all the way down into a mine. This thing took us a while to do, and so that's why I did it over a long play. No commentary. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Just end rods, amethyst everywhere, lots of oak and lots of spruce. I liked using moss for the uh, carpeting on the floor as well. I have it set up to where we can just keep on going and gathering materials. We're pretty much at the point where it's at deep slate and granite, and uh, we can just keep going to bedrock. The other area that we've been grabbing all of our deep slate is all the way a couple hundred blocks on the other side, so it's about time we uh, get another cobbled deep slate and farm going over here. The one thing about this, though, is I didn't really put a roof on it, and I kind of wish I did. Got a guy over here. He kind of wandered all the way over here. So we have a platform. It's going to be five by nine on the inside. I'm going to actually just use some of the campfires over here. This is going to hurt. Uh, this is hurting my feet quite a bit, but you know, it's going to be worth it. This uh, this little uh, overhang here is going to look nice. Got the campfires on the top. We're going to put the trap doors lined up on the side here. Flowering azalea leaves on the tippy top over here. 
And I think we'll hang some azaleas on the bottom here as well. Are these going to obstruct our walking, though? It looks like, you know, they might, but it does look okay if we just do it on the sides, maybe. We are also going to get some azaleas on the bottom. We just need to get some potted plants right here, right there. We'll get some azaleas right there, right there. It looks pretty nice. Well, I'm, I'm glad we made this, but uh, I mean, now the light over here, like the street light post and the snow golem tower, they are... Slightly out of place. I think we're gonna have to move them both a couple blocks to the right. I'm sorry, buddy, but we have to move you. Killing that snow column was almost too easy. It was, it was like, kind of sad that it was that easy. Move this guy just a little bit closer to the beach. We got a new location. We got a new snow golem. It is raining, though, so if I make this guy right now, he will perish immediately. So let's think about this real fast. Actually, okay, so let's go... Crafting table right on top. Let's just put a bed right here. Okay, so now this guy should be able to survive the rain. Let's go bam and oh, you're doing great. Let's put that guy right there and perfect. We have officially moved everything that needed to be moved and this spot is looking nice. I love going around like sprucing areas up. There's actually on the other side of this main island here, an area that we have been sprucing up. It's that uh, cartography center plus the llama sanctuary, plus the starter house design that we had made. I brought a bunch of villagers over here, uh, relocated them, rather, and uh, they, for some reason, got themselves stuck on the roof over here. And if I go over here, there's over they're over here, too. What I did was I put uh, fence gates on the top of the second floor here, so I'm going to jump down, and I think I'm just going to have to push them down. Uh, these guys... Okay, I hear a guy just opening and closing a door over and over again. Are you okay, sir? What? what what's going on here? Back to what we were trying to do. Let's take this guy right here and I can, let's just maybe let's try to push them off or we can just like let them fall. Yeah, let them fall down. Letting them fall down is probably the easier. Oops, sorry. No, dude. There you go. Goodbye. This guy really has an issue with opening and closing doors. I, uh, I don't, I, dude, there's, I don't know how to deal with this. Dropping in for a couple more villager drops. Boom. Oh, he hopped out. That was a nice juke. Okay, wait, hold on. We'll get this right here. No, I'm not trying to trade. I just want to drop you down. You made me lose a lantern. The least you could do is fall down, guys. Okay, that's not working, so let's do this. And he's just... There we go. Glad we finally did that, and glad we finally got these guys to take some jobs out here. It's nice to have some villagers roaming around. Look at that. They're all the way out here as well. We even have iron golems out on this path. Whoa, wait. We have baby villagers out here. That is... Uh, wait. I don't even have any... There's no, like, farming. There's no villager... Oh, we have cats out here now. Okay. So that, uh, damn, there's actually a new village. It's kind of strange because there's no food. I don't have any wheat, beets, no carrots or potatoes or anything like that. So I don't know how there's new villagers being made out here, but I guess it is what it is. So there's actually one more thing that we got to do before we build the armor trading hall, and that is get some spore blossoms. I am running low on those, and by running low, I mean I am out. I actually have zero of them. I love these things because they create particles everywhere, and it's just, it makes the world better, and I don't have any on the village that I started on the other side of the pond over there. So I'm thinking we need to go find some lush caves and let's get some spore blossoms. So back on episode one, you might remember we did find a mangrove swamp and uh, there actually is a giant desert that we found right next to it. On stream, there's a bunch of desert temples that we went and explored because we wanted to get some more saddles and horse armor. We did get all that, but actually while we were over there, we saw some azalea trees sticking out, which means lush caves right below them. So I'm actually going to go to that desert right now. All right, we have one right here, so that's perfect. You know, and there might be an oak. Yeah, there's like... Like, the cave's pretty big, so there might be a pretty big opening around here. No convenient, uh, hole around, so, uh, down we go. We've made it. Let's, uh, I guess let's start lighting some stuff up out here. We never know what's gonna be... You never know when creepers are just gonna come out of nowhere. Sounds like there's, like, a, a thousand zombies around me right now. I have no idea. Uh, there's, like, a cave around me, but I can't see it. Okay, I found some cobblestone. Oh my god. Let's, uh, let's just block that real quick and in, in case there's any uh little dude yeah okay so that is uh there could be baby zombies down there but i don't believe that there are let's just light this up real quick wow it's very loud and there are sure are a lot of these guys let's just you know what get get back off back off the chest i want to see what's in there back off get out of here Ooh, lena rain okay i'll take it let's go Dug down a little bit further, found some particles, got a little bit of diamond, and look a little bit over here, and we got ourselves a spore blossom. So I'm going to take this guy out, and uh, he fell. So let's uh, let's go down to where there's inevitably going to be a creeper and some zombies. Ooh, immediately right off the bat, we have another spore blossom. 
You are mine, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Running around in the cave. Okay. Yep. Oh, we have two actually, right? Oh, we have a baby zombie that's coming up here too. Let's, uh, let's jump up too. You're not going to get me, dude. You're not going to get me here. You're not going to get me now. That bat just scared me a little bit. You're done. I saw the bat out of the corner of my eye and my right hand just twitched. I'm going to grab you right there. And we also have some diamonds. Actually, let's go one, two, and boom. Gotcha. Still seeing particles, but where are you at? Oh, found you, buddy. And bop. Oh, God, that's gravel. That's a lot of gravel. Okay, where'd the spore blossom go? Let's... I need to torch this place up and I found you, bud. Got a lot of moss here to take home as well. Wow. All right, haven't been here in a while. We found our first big open area and we found another spore blossom. Let's uh, let's get to it. I think I hear a zombie and I see a zombie. This guy's stuck on an azalea bush giving me time to react like this. Just gonna go up here, climb up real fast. And man, I love spore blossom hunting because not only do you get the awesome block, but you get to be in the lush cave, which is just amazing. And I see one over there. We're gonna get like maybe over 10. Got number seven coming right up. I see eight all the way out here in the distance. Let's get you all the way in the corner. Ooh, and we have ourselves a diamond. Let's go. Axolotl's doing their thing. You guys, you know what? We could take one of these home, and I think we will. Let's grab this yellow one right here. Got number nine right here, and then we can actually crawl on over and grab number ten right there. Then we can crawl up here and go bam with number eleven. I don't see any more spore blossom particles, but I am going to grab as many of these mini drip leaves as I can. These guys rock. So close to daylight. Oh, I can see it. Let's go. I need to grab a rocket and let's get out of the cave. I was in there for like an hour, man. But I'm glad that we got it. 11 spore blossoms. That's not bad. While we're out here, we could look for more of the desert temples. We did find one in here buried right in the mountain. Very, very long time ago on stream. I think it was like a couple weeks ago, but... We're going to have to go back, and uh, I'm sure we can find another one. I need to sleep, and I'm also never going to pass up a broken nether portal. We'll put a bed here. We will go over. We'll grab that gold block right there. We'll grab this gold block right here. Thank you. And you know what? I will take all of the contents of this chest. We have spotted a desert temple. Let's uh, let's get out here, and uh, let's see what we got. Dropping in where the creeper's at. Where the creeper's at. I don't see any creepers. This is great. Let's go here, here, and here. Finally down, finally organized. Let's see what we got. Gunpowder, gold horse armor, saddles, bone. Not bad. I'm actually going to put away a bunch of stuff that I don't want. Go over here. Okay, diamond horse armor. Look at the C3 and lure one. I, I, you know what? I'm just going to take the books just because. Got some more silver horse armor and a bunch of bones. I love getting the horse armor because uh, as we breed more horses, we're going to need more armor. And unfortunately, you can't craft it. I wish you could, but you just can't. But I guess that does make exploring the temples a little bit more fun. Got a nice village over here. I love how they're always built into the side of the mountains. Let's uh, let's take all their hay. Sorry, guys, but uh, I am the pillager today. Got some hay up here. Sorry about it. It's mine. I see you're trying to hide some hay up here. Uh, I don't think so, bud. I'm gonna take your bell because that bell is mine. It, uh, I put that there. And, uh, you guys just, uh, you didn't know that, obviously. And, ooh, whoa. Hold up. Look at this cave. Let's, uh, let's hop in here real quick and see what's up. Dang. This thing is nuts. I definitely see, I can see a creeper popping out in here. That would, that would definitely happen. Whoa, big dripstone cave. This is cool. Let's go home. Glad to be back. That was a quite a long trip, a lot longer than I thought it would be, but let's uh, let's get the contents out of these shulker boxes real quick. Now for the new trading hall, I'm actually going to go right over next to this crane, the big lava pit that we had built uh, a couple months back. We still have our materials over here, so let's take some of this cobble deep slate out of here. Yeah, I was going to say, I know I got more than that. Slap it on in the shulker box over here, and uh, we're going to use this to build the trading hall today. And the next thing to do on the list is to find a very unassuming villager. We do have this guy that's kind of stuck right there. Let's uh, use... Yes, thank you very much, sir. Let's go ahead and just put you in this boat, and let's just take you out of here. I'm going to take you out beyond into a place that you've never seen before. Past the mighty mob farm, and we'll pass the great nether portal into the lands beyond. Uh, wait, hold on a second. I have I got the rest of the villagers out, and there's one dude. He's chilling out there. All right, you know what? He can, he can stay. At least he's not swimming out in the water. Let's bring this guy right over here, and you can take your job, sir. I'm going to smack the boat, and this is your new home. 
A lot of the villagers that I brought over here get stuck on these campfires. I wonder if that's just a bug that Minecraft has where like villagers lose like their, their AI, I guess, like gets lost when they step on the campfire. They don't really know where to go next, but typically I'll have to just like go around and shuffle some blocks around them so that they just like know where to go next. Sir, you need to go down there. Yeah, there you go, sir. Just go over there, take a job. Yeah, go take a job, sir. How about you? You want to go, you want to follow me over here and uh, just go take a job? Why don't you take a job? And there you go, sir. Yeah, get out there. We can fix this, though. We are handymen here. We can get this done. So we'll go bam, we'll go bam, we'll get, oh gosh, we'll go here. We'll get this stripped like so. And we are not going to allow any villagers up here any longer unless maybe they hop over to this side. We can, we can stop this. This can, uh, this problem can be fixed. Okay, problem solved. We got some spruce trap doors. We got some spruce fence gates. No one is going in and no one is uh, gonna be getting out, I guess, if they end up back in here. I'm not gonna be doing that again, guys. So please don't do that. I think uh, now nah, let's grab some of the deep slate tiles that we have. Let's start lining out a build. I think right behind the cocoa bean farm that we had made and also right behind the horse stable that we had made, we have a lot of space right here. So I think we can probably start getting something down. We can go closer to the beach this time. Maybe we can do an L shape or maybe a T shape. Let's just kind of get something lined out towards the beach a little bit. And uh, we'll go back and we'll go back this way as well. We might end up making something that looks kind of like a plus sign, but we'll have to see here. Just uh, laying out the land here. Let's get rid of some of this foliage around here. Building this area up is going to feel good. I cannot wait to finally have like once we have about 50 villagers out here, it's going to start feeling more like a city, kind of like the other side. Spruce logs are going on this puppy as well. We're going to do this all the way around. Smack some windows in here. I like the spruce on the deep slate. It always looks good. And I've been overdoing like the oak with it too. So while we were live on stream, kind of getting the layout of the bottom layer figured out, I uh, had chat decide on which next wood we were going to use. And they decided on birch. Birch actually looks pretty good though. I like this a lot, especially when we get a little bit of light below it too. I'm going to put some lanterns here. Fill on the top end with birch as well. The contrast between birch and deep slate tiles, I'm, I'm liking this a lot because the oak is a little bit darker than the birch and we've always been using oak and so it's, it's actually kind of refreshing to see a new type of wood contrast with that deep slate. As you can see, we do have a nice frame for a house kind of set up here. I'm going to jump down and show you guys real fast. I had the stairway go directly up here and I kind of want to have just a little bit of an area where everybody can hang out. Actually, let's go ahead and finish this edge right here. I kind of want to put some gates up so no one can get in and out. And I think probably just some potted plants are going to work. As you can see, we are actually going through two different parts of the building here. So I have that guy and it is all the way over here as well. So it's going to be technically two buildings, but underground here. And by underground, I mean just one block below. I thought it'd be kind of cool. I rarely do that where I have the build go into the ground. Uh, but I want to start doing that a little bit more. I think it's kind of fun. So I'm going to have a couple of the armor traders over here. And probably the majority of the villagers are just going to go into this room. But I really do like having this area where there's this walkway above us and right below. It'd be a shame if I forgot all of the birch buttons. We also have an audience down here. Uh, real quick, let's take a break from building. I would like these guys to become our first traders. If you guys can, I got two beds over here that they like to take. I hope. Actually, wait. Let's take this down in case one of them wants to run over there, I think. Actually, wait, let's take this barrel down too. And now we should be good to go. Let's just let them loose. Please take your jobs over here. Just there's blast furnaces. You guys can become armorers. It's going to be awesome. All right, he took a job. What do you, wait, 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 wait. Get back here. Let's make sure we have, or let's keep your job. Iron leggings. I've always wanted them. Thank you very much, sir. While he's not looking, let's throw those in. And you, sir, please, please take your job. All right, he did it. Okay, so, okay. He will, actually, I would rather sell this guy coal than buy random pieces of armor off of him. Let's fly home real quick and grab that. I love that we have the creeper AFK farm now because I do not mind using as many rockets up as possible. Back in just a couple of seconds with our coal and let's drive right over here. Where are you guys at? Okay, so... You, sir, want some coal. I'll, I'll, I, I can see that, and uh, let's just turn you into an apprentice. Actually, just so these guys can work on getting acclimated into their new environment, let's just put two blast furnaces in here, and let's run out and break the workstations that they already have. Sorry to, like, uproot you guys out of your lives, but uh, let's just... There you go. How about you guys go to the blast furnaces that are inside? 
They seem to be very confused. Uh, they're, they're talking amongst themselves. They'll figure it out. But uh, but in order to avoid any of them going upstairs, I'm putting that there because we've we run into that issue way too many times. It's not going to be permanent, but until we get all of the, the villagers in their spots, uh, that's just the way it's going to have to be. While these guys figure it out and look for their new workstations, I'm just going to keep building and make this uh, this going to be as nice as possible. And by the way, I know I do say it all the time, but if you want to join us for any of the building streams, it is twitch.tv slash waxfraud. Feel free to stop by any time. We do stream every single day. Strip, 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 strip. Strip over here. Strip over there. We go down here. We strip that. We go strip, strip, strip. And I think we missed one down here, actually. Where's the strip? We go here and we go strip. All I had to do was make a new door for him. There you, you know what? There you, yay, he made it into. Okay, so I guess all I had to do was that and I'll do this. Actually, I can do a forced stay here if I just do that and that. You guys are good to go. Thank you very much. On the second level here, I wanted to use the end rods on the inside. I've been using the lanterns on the bottom, so I think end rods on the second floor is going to work out a little bit better. We'll put those over here as well. The azaleas and the pots go on the outside just so that there's not too much lighting. And actually, if I go up here on the third floor, who am I kidding? I'll probably end up using end rods again. Let's go right here. And if we jump back a little bit, we'll see some of the detailing that we have to place. There's going to be a lot of birch buttons and spruce trap doors that we're placing down here. I go one, two, and three. Actually, this is an even number right here, so I'll have to just place another one in the middle. We'll go bam, bam. Gotta add some more detail to the roof here. Obviously, we're gonna, I've been using campfires for a lot of these. I'm just burning myself over and over, but been using campfires for pretty much all the roofs recently, and that's just because I'm pretty addicted to the way it makes the roofs look. Like, it's extra detailed, and I, I just enjoy it. Now, this roof on the right side and all the way on the left side, that might be a little bit too small for windows, but this one right here, most definitely not. So I think we'll go in like one, two, three, four make this about five wide right here and then there should be about four on the other end so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna strip this up here and we're gonna put the deep slate tile wall in the inside not right there that one is wrong but we'll get this here we'll get that there that we and I, nice okay we have a complete window let's hop up here and let's slab it up into the middle slap an upside down stair we'll get a regular stair and then this right here i believe yeah let's actually just finish that off right here and then i want to get some lanterns on this too we already have them in our hot bar let's go bam bam and bam not too bad this could use a little bit of extra decoration so i'm thinking the spruce trap doors right here this guy right here is gonna have to go you're gonna have to move buddy see you later Following the trap doors, we're going to add even more birch buttons, take a step back, and nice, dude, not bad. Ooh, and before I forget, I actually really wanted to go down here and add kind of an awning, so if we go like this, right here, and kind of alternate the fireplaces. I keep calling them fireplaces, I mean campfires got like that, that's perfect. Then this is where stuff starts to get crazy. We'll get a lantern here, we'll go chain here, we'll go chain there, we'll go a lantern here, trap door there, and then where's the pot? We'll go pot right here, and azalea plant right below it. Can I reach it? Can I not? There we go, and there we go, and boom, boom. I love it. I love doing this. Now, it might be raining, but uh, it's never too rainy to get a nice little path going here. We're going to get a bunch of oak, a bunch of spruce, a bunch of tuff cobblestone slabs and a little bit of deep slate down here for the path on the side of the house we're just going to use some azalea bushes and probably some anvils out here just for some extra decoration i've been liking more and more like just active particles coming off the builds as you can tell also there is an audience behind us these guys uh they were transported from the lands beyond and they're here they're watching i have a bunch of blast furnaces right here kind of lined up so they can take the jobs actually let's just let's keep doing this one by one because we already have i have six guys in there right now and it's easy enough doing it one by one maybe we should just keep doing this yeah let's just i'll take your boots you got the job okay lost some emeralds here we got some guys trading some pants with us we don't really need all this stuff and unfortunately we're gonna have to trade for some of it so if we put it in here we have a blast furnace that's gonna be taking it all out actually I'm just gonna have to go get some more blaze rods but this thing right here these hoppers are gonna fill up and uh, they're just gonna blast all of the armor that we don't need and some of these guys just hopped. Ooh, this guy hopped into place. Hold on. It's rare that this happened. Nice. You stuck, dude. You stuck. All right. All these guys are out and about. I'm going to start breaking all of their job blocks so they have nowhere else to go but inside. Hold on. Let's break. Oh, God. I actually don't even know if they can get in. Let's open the fences right here. And let's open the floodgates right here. And all right, guys, go take your jobs.
Nice, they're already coming over. This is perfect. Okay, so these guys will just go whichever way they need to. Some guys will choose this one. Some guys will choose this one. I just need them to take their spots. Perfect. Dude, if they hop in, do I have lanterns? Yes. Okay, all they have to do is hop... Oh, I was going to say, if they just all they have to do is hop up on the blast furnace, I can just shove them in real quick, and boom. Like these guys right here. They're both up here, just hopping on their blast furnace. I'm going to go right there, and boom, you're stuck. This guy seems to be lost. Let's actually, you know what, bud? Let's let's help you out. Get in the boat one more time, and we'll just take you to the front door. Now we can kind of start decorating the interior as some of them start to take their spots. I'm for sure just going to go ahead and put a stair right there, and maybe just put that right there. Spruce and birch is probably going to be the main component of the interior as well. I'm probably going to start using this combination a lot more often. I'm actually really liking that. Dude, you're in the way. You're in the way, dude. And I'm really liking it. It's starting to grow on me quite a bit. Hey, man, if you are going to be getting in my way, then you're just you're just going to be stuck there. And now we can actually trade iron with some of these guys. Most of them don't trade with the iron, but some of them do. I actually should have gone through and made sure that all of them do. It would have been it would have made this trading hall a little bit more efficient. But it is what it is. It looks pretty nice in here. You can go through. We have our area where we turn all of the extra the all of the extra armor into nuggets. The other seven guys chilling right here. And these guys also some of them do buy iron as well. Going back, take this out. We cannot forget, we lost an entire shulker box on stream, and it was, it's not cool. We had, we lost, the reason we lost like 80 levels is because I lost a bunch of uh, tools, and uh, replacing tools is a little expensive. But now that we have armor, if we ever lose the armor, it won't be as expensive. We can just buy some stuff from these guys. I wanted to show you guys the interior. We have finally started working on the interior. I have an upstairs where we started putting some of the armor that we were trading with these guys. Usually I don't really complete the upstairs, but I'm glad we did. We have an awning up here with azalea flowers and the campfires stretching over to the other side of the building where we have a couple different rooms. I'm gonna keep on adding armor here as time goes on, but I just wanted it to be nice and cozy in case some other villagers decided to make their way up here. Go out the front door, and this is nice, man. You got yourself a brand new house. Honestly, this could make for a good starter house design as well. I am absolutely loving this. The only thing that I can actually think of that I'm missing is possibly a giant chimney. I didn't put one on the cartography center because it didn't really make sense to have like a huge chimney in a, like a mapping center, but this one. This is an armor or trading hall where there's blast furnaces everywhere. Like there's, there's actual furnaces that are used for workstations here, so we probably should make a little bit of space for a giant chimney. Gonna build up with mostly tough, but a little bit of cobblestone as well. This right here is probably tall enough. I'm just gonna make my way around, put some of the spruce trap door. Okay, that was wrong. I always play, I feel like every single recording, I gotta place one block in the wrong spot. But let's take a step back here. Nice, okay, that actually fit into the build pretty well. Let's take a step back over on a tree on the other side of the river, and ooh, yeah, that blends in perfect. We might need to get another one on this side also. Got it taken care of, but now I think, you know, we probably, I want to build it out just a little bit further. I wanted to take a look at that, and I'm glad we did, but let's get a piece of tough right there. Maybe get another piece of cobblestone right here and finish that off with a little bit of tough right there. Okay, so now that chimney is a little bit thicker, looking a little bit nicer. Pretty excited about this build. I uh, I mean, if you were to ask me which build on this world I'm most proud of, it might be this one. I'm, I'm very excited about it, and I'm, I'm genuinely happy. Hi, everybody. Waxfraud here, and welcome back to episode 31 of the Hardcore Minecraft Let's Play series. We are in the library right now, and you might be wondering why there are a bunch of zombie noises. We have a bunch of zombified villagers. We need to get these guys cured, and what we did was we had a zombie go through all of the entire backside on stream, and it's time to start curing. We did cure a couple of them, but... Uh, about three at a time is what we can do, so I'll throw it right there. We'll go here. I actually weakened myself, too. This guy has a sword. And this is very loud, but in a matter of maybe about five minutes and under, these guys will be pretty much healed. And I gotta get these guys right here, too. I also gotta get these guys right here. So let's just, uh, we'll heal you, we'll heal you, and we'll run over here. We'll get you, and we'll get you, and... Wow, this is super loud, but we gotta get you, sir. Yeah, it's a super loud process, but we end up getting a lot of cheap trades. The bookshelf trades that used to be nine emeralds are now three, which is fantastic because I need more bookshelves because I would love to be making an underground library, like a legit library. This is a trading hall and it's nice, but I want to make something where that's like multiple levels. It actually looks like there's like reading spaces and I don't know, something that really looks like a library. That'll be coming on a later long play though. I'm going to go around here and yeah, let's just get a bunch more bookshelves. 
we no longer have to go to the woodland mansions and uh, burn those down in order to get all of the uh, bookshelves that we need. Thank you, by the way, if you guys watched episode 30. I really do appreciate y'all. This build was insane, and it took about three entire days, uh, very long Twitch streams and all in between in order to get that done. We finally have a spot for all of our armor up here. As soon as we get that collection going, I'm actually going to get some colored leather and bring it over here. As soon as we get a leather worker trading hall going, that will be nice. But downstairs, we have all of these guys set up. This was so fun getting all of these guys in here. For the most part, hopped right into place. But I'm glad we have two trading halls over here now. What's up, my man? How you doing? I love how the villagers are getting acclimated and actually going inside of the farms, too, kind of living in there. While we are on this side of the world, there is one, actually two things that I wanted to show you. It's the two long plays that we had worked on in between the two episodes here. The first thing is this lush land bridge right here. This thing was extremely fun to build. We actually worked a tiny bit of it on stream right here. We did the roof a little bit, and uh, most of this was actually just done on that long play. But thank you guys for watching if you did. A lot of moss, a lot of mangrove, and just a a lot of the natural elements that were put right into here. A lot of the stone and mossy cobblestone as well. The second build was actually over here. It was this giant underground mess hall. This thing was really fun to build. Actually, my, my, probably my favorite underground build that we've done. Yes, actually, last time I was down here, there was not any villagers that had come down here yet. I'm glad that this guy's down here. I want them to take this mess hall and make it their own, but like this is a huge table that you can sit at, and uh, we have areas for food pickup over here, areas where they can cook the food. I've never really made a mess hall like this, but uh, I've always wanted to build like an underground structure where like it just feels communal. The ceiling with the frog lights and the amethyst, I, I love this. And as more villagers get brought over here by a boat, I feel like more and more are going to come down here because I have a lot of smokers down here, so there's going to be a lot of butchers that end up coming down here. And with these barrels right here, I feel like there's going to be a lot of fishermen that end up coming down here too. Like, this guy's already number one. Town over here is looking huge. Take a look to the right. Rainbow Mountain is looking even larger. We have this side coming to a close almost, and this side, I feel like this side might be a little bit taller. Let's actually fly up here real quick. It's been a while since we took a look at Rainbow Mountain, so it's actually good to get over here. Why don't we take a look and, you know, we can actually probably start doing a couple more layers of this. We need to go with the cyan over there, it looks like, and some dark green over here, it looks like. Let's head over to the auto shearing wool farm. Lion in slowly. I keep forgetting, we have to make a home for our shulker boxes. There's so many things to do in this world still. I feel like we've done so much, yet there's still so much to do. Okay, so we need some green. Okay, nice. Let's uh, let's fill up a shulker box right here. I guess we'll get all of the dark green wool. We'll slap it up in here. And conveniently enough, the cyan is right next to it. I wonder, it's been a while since I checked this. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Yeah, these are running very low. I'm actually lucky. I'm glad we checked before it was too late. We got to make a bunch of shears here. We got to make probably like, like maybe at least 100 pairs of shears here because... We gotta slap all of these into each of them. Let's see, I already am almost running out. This sheep farm's been going for like almost a solid like six months straight. That's just, that's insane. Found our gray shulker box we can add back to the collection down here. I don't even know how long that's been there. I'm actually thinking this top part here where I might put the green, I might have it be a little bit more flat than normal because I might build a house on this part, because I was thinking green is more like the grass and more like moss than any other wool color. So if I were to end on the green here, and if I were to go another entire rainbow up, then it might be a little bit too small of an area, but actually, you know what? Let's just go up another row. What we'll do is we'll just kind of double it up here and make it seem like it's flattening out. And if it doesn't make it to green, then you know what? So be it. Not everything can be perfect in this world, but we can sure try to get as close as we possibly can. Maybe we should have started flattening out a little bit sooner. That side over there is going to be a little bit taller. We'll probably keep building up over here, but this side right here, I feel like a nice starter house would be pretty good. Then we're going to move back slowly with the lime green. I'm just going to test the waters here. We're going to go back about two or three blocks just the same as we did with that dark green. Okay, and now that we have pretty much gone up an entire other layer, we are now going to be laying down one last layer of green wool, but mixed in there, we're actually gonna put some moss blocks because it's the closest thing I can find. Also, I think moss on the top here is gonna be great but then we go mostly moss on the inside here so that we can bone meal it and get a nice lush landscape. It's kind of cool, that like yellowish grass on that dark green moss. Out of green wool now, we actually covered this whole top side, but I'm gonna come back with some more moss and we're just gonna pretty much load it up here. I'm gonna keep going throughout. I might actually 
It's gonna be a couple more times when I think I might have some lime green on me. Do I? Do I? I don't have any on me. I might use some more lime green wool to like patch up a couple holes here and there because the house or the, like, the, the big like flowers up here that I'm gonna build, they're not gonna necessarily like take up the entire space. Even on the other side, if I plop all the way up here, we started flattening out a little bit, and this one actually goes up one taller, but started testing out the same thing over here, and we have a giant field of moss. I actually think I'm going to continue this on this side as well, except on the back side, since this one is much larger, it's, it's way bigger, I can pop up above the clouds. We still have a lot of room and a lot of stuff to do here, so I think there's actually going to be a part of the peak that goes up a little bit taller than where it's at right now, so I might even have to come over here with the moss and kind of space out a circle that I want to uh, mark out where these flowers are going to go. And if you guys are wondering what I mean by flowers, I mean giant fantasy-like flowers that we're about to build. I think this right here might be a good starting point. It's raining out, and so it's always just, it's gloomy in the desert when it's raining, but yeah, I've, even this right here isn't very circular, so I could even bring this out maybe this way. But we will talk about that in just a little bit because now I am realizing as I'm finishing this mossy part of the circle that it's 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 pretty dark down here. There's a lot of mobs that are going to start spawning, so I need to hop down real quick and uh, let's light this up. We have lit up pretty much everything we can. As you can see, there's there's torches that go four days, but uh, this part right here, I think it's the, this is like the last little stretch. I am going to sprint and keep these rockets handy because if a creep- oh my god, there's like eight creeper- oh my god, there's like 20 creepers right there. No matter who's out here, we are going to just continue planting torches and uh, pay no mind to anybody that's uh, that's going to get in our way. Honestly, there were so many mobs out here that I forgot that there's a pillager outpost that's also just as dangerous. Dudes, there's, there's a lot of you guys. It's four on one, so I'm just going to have you guys just gang up on this front guy right here and weaken him enough where I can just- or actually you guys can- how about you guys just do- oh my god, they're all shooting at me. I only have one carrot left, too. It's kind of a bad idea to come down here with just one carrot, but I really want one of you guys to just shoot one of you guys. It's a lot more fun when you guys shoot each other, so let's just let's get this guy in the middle right here. You seem like you need to be shot with some arrows. I love the sun rays poking through here. This is beautiful. And you're done. Cool thing about flying in here is that we can see any holes that we need to patch up. Looks like there's an orange that's missing down there, and if we fly over here, it looks like we have a magenta. We're going to fly over to this magenta all the way out here. I think we have enough speed. We just need to pop up here a little bit. Let's float over ever so gently and pop the magenta right in place right there. Yes! It is crazy editing this stuff here. We, we really got to work on this mossy part right here. Let's, uh, let's work on this until it's done. Working on the top here, finishing it up. We almost have the circle done, and this thing is crazy. Actually, wait, before we finish it, I'll go down. I showed people on stream what it looks like. I've got to show you guys, too, for those of you people that do not come for the live streams. Look at this. This is... This is insane. Look at this ray of light shining through. It, I almost kind of want to leave it like that. It's, it's, it's kind of angelic. But for right now, we do need to clean it up. This has got to go. And also this little like yellow block area over here. This is actually just grass. I thought it was kind of fun to see what the moss, like the difference between the color of the moss and the grass in the desert looks like. Because it's like a yellowy brown, that grass color. And when you turn it all into moss, it's very, very green. I am loving just like going along the edge here and just bone meal and everything up. Except for this creeper grass back here. This creeper grass has got to go. Now, I did say we would build up from the top level, and we are. I actually bone mealed pretty much everything over here except for a little hole right in the middle. We can fill this in just a little bit more, but I actually wanted to build a house right here. But we also have an extension of Rainbow Mountain that goes up just a little bit further because we're going to have some enchanted trees up here, like some fantasy looking trees, and we're going to have some houses up here. It'd be cool to actually make a village, maybe a trading hall up here too. Before we do anything though, this creeper grass has also just got to go. Now, we have spent a lot of time up here on Rainbow Mountain, and the materials that we're going to be mainly using are kind of in the nether. We need a lot of quartz. Now, we have a couple of options. We can fly over to this Mason Trading Hall and trade for some quartz because, uh, I mean, it's, it's nice and easy. You can usually do one for one here. Actually, yeah. wow, how did that guy not have his trade ready? Usually, it's one for one, though. Yeah, there we go. Okay, what are you doing, guy? How do you not have your trade ready? It's kind of strange, but usually you can get the trade pretty easily over here. The only other way is to actually go to the nether and mine it out, and I mean, there are, there's another reason we could go to the nether right now. We could blow some things up, maybe get some more ancient debris since there are some of the armor trimmings coming up pretty soon. Actually, yeah, let's get out of here real quick. Let's, uh, let's go to the nether. 
back in the nether. I have not been in here in a while. What's up, Clarique? How you doing? I'm going to fly over to the nearest area that we have been digging out for ancient debris. I believe it's just over here next to the other nether fortress that we had found. And oh, okay, we have a gas. Sir, I'm not trying to deal with you right now. How about you come over here and I'll get you with my sword. Oh, whoa. Let's play a little bit of catch. There you go. See you later, guy. We really got to be careful over here. We got Withy Skellies all the way down there just chilling. What a beautiful hallway that we made out of explosions down here. I'll probably just go... I actually already did go that way. Let's run in here a little bit and let's just make a hallway right here and just run straight as far as we can. And that was immediately lava. Let's just... let's... wow. Let's turn around and go make a hallway over here. Alright, dude, you might want to be careful. You guys might just want to stay clear of the blast radius. I'm going to just light that up, and we're going to run over here, and just be chill. Just be chill. Oh, they're mad at me. They're mad at me. So this is something I didn't realize. If you, uh, if you accidentally hit them with TNT that you set off, then they're going to go after you. Sorry, guys, you're just, you're going to have to go. This is something I didn't intend for this, but, uh, it's just something that you came in here, actually. You guys are charging me. Oh, we got a little guy. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't get in. I was going to say, got a little guy. I'm surprised he didn't even try to jump over. He's back for more. Sorry, buddy. Okay, let's be just a little bit more careful next time, and uh, let's let's come back out. I think they're all good, and I think I see an ancient debris down here. What do you know? What do you say? Let's go ahead and take this guy. Oh, there's two of them. Wow, let's go. Let's dig more tunnels this way, and we'll light some more TNT right here, and we'll run away like this, and we'll look at the explosion like that. So incredibly loud, but so incredibly efficient. So I ended up with an extreme amount of cinnamon rolls here while we went uh, on a quick live stream and just blew up a couple stacks of TNT in order to get this. We have 37 ancient debris right now. About to have even more. I'm going to light this up, run back, take a step back over here. It's going to be a little loud, but we're going to find some TNT. It's going to be cool. Sometimes you get absolutely nothing, and so you have to take a little bit of a turn over here. Uh, I'm gonna- this guy's gonna get hit. Hold on. Let's just do that and smack that. Then we can run. Let's go up here just in case one of them gets hit. See, now- see, now they're mad, and now they're just gonna try to get up here. I was not trying to deal with this right now, sir. I was not trying to deal with either of you guys. And there you go. I can already see one more in here. This is oh, we got two. Ancient debris hunting with TNT is just- it's- it's insane. You just get so much. Let's let her rip one more time. Let's go this way back here, and I don't think any Pikmin are gonna get hurt. Let's walk forward, and boom, there's our 40th one. Ah, this is perfect. These guys are all still following me from all the direct- Ow! I'm trying to go over here by myself for a little bit. That guy just smacked me off my own bridge. That's not very cool, man. Crawling back out the other side here. I don't think there's any skellies. And oh, we got some I need to make a Strider Sanctuary. I forgot about these guys. The Striders, I feel like, are a slept-on mob that- no one really takes care of. Oh my god, we have a gas shooting at me. Alright, let's play some catch. Let's go, dude. You wanna go? Let's play some more catch. You should have seen what I'd done to the last gas. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Get back at me right now. Let's go. Let's keep playing. Alright. He's just gonna disappear like that. Alright, that's fine. Run over here real fast. Grab a little bit of this. Uh, okay, there we go. Now I feel like we should probably grab some rockets and just get out of here. We might be pushing our luck in the nether. Spending a little bit too much time here. Let's just get out of here. Every time I see a giant glowstone patch like this, I know I can get it from my clerics pretty easy, but every time I see something like this, there's like a, a whole stack of them just chilling right here. I might as well just stop and get some. I love that this is done now. It's just a nice big old flat pad of just open space to be able to build on, and I'm loving this. We can finally start getting those fancy trees in, but I had seen these beautiful trees and landscapes, and so we have Globetier and Magpie to give credit to. For the builds in this episode, these are just absolutely amazing. Of course, we're going to make it slightly different, but for right now, I'm actually just going to get the tree moving this way, make the branches probably go up just a tad bit higher. But this right here is going to be a tree, and so actually what we'll do is just place a bunch of wool around here, pretty much in a ring, and we don't want any creepers spawning, so I am just going to be putting some frog lights up here prematurely. Then we're going to drop down with some scaffolding. We're going to drop over here. So this is going to be the basic shape of the trees here. I'll step up here. We're going to add in just a wee bit of the hanging branches. Actually, I think these would just be considered vine. The best part about these, though, is just adding in the glazed terracotta in and throughout. I am in love with this. 
We'll add some hanging leaves on the inside that seem like they're flowing inwards and ones that are flowing more out. These streets are fun though because you can go pretty random with it so you can make them pretty much any way you want. And before you know it, you've got yourself a tree. There's a couple parts that you gotta edit though. I might add some more glazed terracotta as well. I don't think I've got enough up in here, but I'll grab that. Grab the bamboo. Oh my god, I didn't even realize there was a hole of moss there. I... Wow, hold on. Do I even have... No, I don't. Let's grab some moss. That is just... That's just dangerous. Hold on a second. Do we not have any moss? I don't know why I put the moss away, but uh, we gotta fix this real quick before something bad happens, and boom, we're done. Actually, let's put that... Okay, burp. now we're double boom, and this is looking decent. You know what we should do is... Uh, let's get some frog lights floating around here before we get any more trees up. What I'd like to do is actually just go up maybe about three or four high on each of these, and we'll just go bam and just have them all float. Actually, let's go around with a couple more of these. Let's go right here. Let's go one, two, three. And we'll go up with the pink. We'll go over here with the green. And we'll go one more pink right next to the yellow. I just want to take a step back and see what this looks like a tad before we work on it even more. Get more confident and then have to just take it all down later. Not bad. I like this. This is going to be like uh, a lot more fantasy feeling. And it's going to provide a lot of light. So we might not have to use any torches up here. Not bad at all. Okay, so I think we need to start working on basically every color of tree. Wow, this is looking crazy so far. We have about half of the colors done, or a little bit more than half. I still gotta get green, lime green. I think we need to get the dark blue over here. Bada bing and bada boom. We have officially got all 11 colors of the rainbow that we used on Rainbow Mountain turned into tree form over here, and we used every single type of glazed terracotta that we possibly could. This is looking great. I have never done anything like this, so kudos to Magpie and Glubtier. Thank you both for the idea. Appreciate you guys for building something like this in the sub server and just giving me some inspiration to build. As I'm hopping through here though, I actually am noticing some of the glazed terracotta was left out on the tippy top of this blue tree here. So let's put some light blue glazed terracotta here. Let's go there, kind of go on the top here as well. Boom, and probably one here to go boom. Seeing purple over here is actually missing a couple. We could probably afford to put a couple more in here. Now, I have just fallen in love with this weird little fantasy biome that we made here. All these different colors is just, it's amazing. I want to spend a lot of time here building. This would be very fun. Ooh, some stray blocks. That's very nice. The only thing we have left to do is, and so over here, actually, I guess I'll show you, I have flowers under each tree according to what the color of the tree is. We have corn flowers under the blue, we have pink tulips under the pink, we have dandelions under the yellow. The only three that didn't necessarily have any plants to go along with it were the green, so I'm going to actually put some ferns over here with the green so the fern can, you know, just not feel left out. Then we're going to hop over and put some amethyst under the purple because I feel like this is the only way uh, to get it here because there's not really any purple flowers, but there is purple amethyst. Flying high above the clouds with the render distance up. Rainbow Mountain is looking crazy over here too. This is just awesome. I'm actually going to fly it down because we need to get more of the amethyst clusters right here, here, here along the edge, and probably in the middle as well. Man, I am just, I'm excited to call this thing done. We have been working on this thing for six months. This is just, it's absolutely insane. Almost like it's unreal that uh, it actually is done. I'm so excited right now. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Seriously, thank you so much for being there on all of the live Twitch streams as well as we got this done. This was mo mainly worked on, uh, on a bunch of live Twitch streams. So thank you guys for being a part of the community if you have been there and just yeah thank you for all the support it really does mean a lot hi everybody wax fraud here and welcome back to a brand new episode of the hardcore let's play series i can't believe we're on episode 32 already and i cannot believe still that we are done with rainbow mountain this is just crazy in the last episode and over a multitude of twitch streams we completed this mountain finally we got a bunch of trees up here and we finally have an area for us to build a house Thank you guys for joining on the Twitch streams. If you have been there, I do appreciate y'all. The community there is, is just thriving and it's awesome. I, I appreciate you guys so much. I did want to first thing actually come down here because there is one thing on my mind and it, 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 is, uh, it is Rainbow Mountain, of course, but it's not this Rainbow Mountain. It's this Rainbow Mountain right here. We are going to start it. So I think obviously we're going to put the light blue down there, but the cyan, we can just start right here. Honestly, probably should have started with the light blue, but here we are with the cyan. I'll probably come back through with the light blue. I can't wait for this, though. This is about to be a Rainbow Mountain Valley. This canyon is about to look absolutely beautiful. 
it is crazy going right back into another rainbow mountain as soon as we finish this one but uh, you know it just it has to be done I want to run up and show you guys the long plays that we did in between this episode and the last where we have uh, completed this mountain but it's uh you basically just have to use elytra this thing is huge it took me about a minute maybe two minutes to climb all the way up here from down there but now we can finally fly down i actually have a brand new watchtower back in the village that i want to show you guys here we are we got ourselves a brand new watchtower we do not have the watchman over here yet i have a feeling that there's going to be a couple villagers that end up making their way over though so if we fly down here i'm going to go really there we go yeah so this watchtower all you have to do is have a villager make his way over through these trap doors and walk up these set of stairs here right here same basic materials went into this and it got me thinking i actually would like to do a watchtower series like i would like to do this one i have the other watchtower on the other side of the village but uh, if i could do like all the different wood types maybe get like an amethyst or a calcite watchtower as well i think that'd be cool kind of sad there's no watchmen here yet though we can drop some villagers off on this end actually let's go double check and see if the watchmen are behaving over here at least ah we do still have two villagers up here let's take a double check and see are they new villagers and uh, these are two brand new villagers so the original watchman the watchman's watchman and the watchman's watchman's watchman and who else who knows how many other villagers are gone but uh, there's a lot it's actually on the other side of the island down here, and you know what? Actually, let's take a stop real quick. We have three guys that are on this path now, and we could just put easily just put them back in a spruce boat here. Wait, sir, where are you going? Let's get you to stop doing what you're doing. Let's get you in this spruce boat. Get right there you go. Let's go this way and get you back to the mainland. I'm going to drop you off at the brand new armor trading hall right here. You're not going to be an armorer, but you can be whatever you want as long as you just don't try to leave. I'm thinking I might just have to make like a swamp village out here if these guys keep coming out, which actually, you know what, now that that's actually not a bad idea, kind of a swamp, a, a custom swamp village out on the water doesn't seem too, that's kind of cool. Keeping that idea written down in my head for now, let's just get that guy in the boat, let's take it, there we go. You know, and while we're at it, it got me thinking, I kind of want to do like a custom village for all the biomes, might as well do like a custom jungle village, we could do a custom plains biome village. Grabbing some deep slate real quick because I want to make some minor changes to the creeper farms. We're going to head over there real fast. I'm going to grab two extra campfires. I noticed that when we were AFKing the other day for some extra gunpowder and iron, that actually don't need that many campfires, but when we were AFKing, I noticed that a lot of the gunpowder that I was going to collect ended up not being collected because it overflowed. So I need to make a larger collection system. I just really wanted to get this taken care of before we move on to the main objective of this episode because it's just been on my mind. So we have a system here where the creepers can just kind of fall into just two campfires and go into these chests, but this thing fills up pretty quickly, so I want to get at least two more double chests in and a couple more hoppers. Looks like we have another victim actually right now. He's going to fall in, and when the creepers get backed up, I've noticed there's been a couple of times where some of the creepers are chilling right here, and it would just be more efficient if there was another set of campfires. And bada bing, bada boom, we'll take some of this uh, gunpowder home with me, and we officially have eight more chests down here. This is perfect. One more thing that I wanted to take care of, this bow that I have right here in my hand. This thing has been uh, handy dandy for a very long time, but it is pretty, it's running low on durability, so I think it's time to maybe repair it. I'm the type of guy that uses infinity. I do not like using mending. I enjoy having just an arrow on me and being able to use that until the arrow breaks. This dude, why are there always iron golems in this house they're, they're everywhere i'm gonna take you out sir i'm gonna run down the stairs please leave me alone sir i'm gonna oh he's trying to get me that evil stare that evil evil stare you you know what you need to be oh my god i missed that you demon demon now i'm gonna repair it use a couple of levels here only cost five that is that's amazing let's go got a brand new bow we can do exactly whatever we want with them we can take these little flowers out these iron golems seem to be stuck again. For some reason, they're always just spawning right here. So I'm just going to take this out right now. I'll take all three of them out and I'll just, I'm just going to chill. What happens if all, dude, these guys are just, if they all three just, if they just decide to escape somehow right now, that'd be insane. Would not turn out very well for me. Oh, some villagers were stuck in there. They're getting unstuck now. Oh my God, guy, do not go in the way of the arrow. Left the gate open, and we have villagers upstairs. This is just, oh gosh. Okay, well, eventually they, some, oh my god, this guy's up here too. Eventually, they always go out this back door and jump off the roof, or jump off the balcony, not the roof, but I'll just let that happen naturally. I believe we've spotted a cat out there, and I believe the cat has also spotted me. Yes, dude, I, I have salmon. Let's go. Yeah, take the salmon. I have a bunch. 
Nice, dude. We got a brand new cat. I want to collect all the cat types. We're going to do a cat sanctuary eventually. I know people in the comments have been wanting that for a while. That will come eventually, but we have a couple more things that we wanted to get taken care of first. Like, actually, the goal board. I'll show you exactly what we're doing today. Because I did say we're building something on Rainbow Mountain, but I didn't say exactly what. And we only have a few more things on this goal board. That's Shepherd's Trading Hall. We have a Butcher Trading Hall and a Bamboo Farm. I think today it only really makes sense to put a Shepherd's Trading Hall on the top of Rainbow Mountain since we covered the entire desert biome over there with wool. The bamboo farm is also coming very soon. I moved all my bamboo right here because also since 1.20 is coming out, there's going to be bamboo wood. So I need to get that farm up and running like right now. That'll probably happen with a long play. I'm actually going to go find some other cats though too because I want to do a creeper farm long play as well. We did the original creeper farm in this world as a part of just, I think it was like episode 9, and it was just a let's play episode, but an, I've never done a long play creeper farm, and it's rare that we do farms for long plays. I was thinking about possibly doing an iron farm long play as well. There are way too many ideas to implement into this world. Good thing we have unlimited amount of time. As long as we don't die, we can keep this series going as long as possible, and we can build anything and everything we want. For today's build, I'm probably just going to grab a lot of spruce, and we're going to head down probably grab some calcite as well. I need to clear up my inventory. Actually, you know what? Magenta shulker box, come on. Get, get out of here. Do your job. Let's grab some calcite. I think the calcite mixed with the spruce, the stripped spruce to be exact, it's going to be a nice combo with all of those colors. I kind of need this build to be more neutral, so I don't think mangrove is going to work. So I think a lot of brown, white, and black on this build will look good on Rainbow Mountain. Now that we're actually flying back over to Rainbow Mountain from this direction, I'm thinking maybe a house over on this side would be kind of nice so that we could see the sunset and also face our village. I'm thinking a house on this side actually might be kind of cool. We'll have to have a lot of pillars going up so that the house looks like it is stable. But I was thinking the base, we could use a lot of stone bricks mixed with some spruce. And then after that, we'd probably end up using the calcite. But I do feel like calcite is going to do the job. Let's end up doing this. Actually, we, let's get our little setup going probably right over here. Let's get the bed out here too. I love getting a little setup right next to the build. I think right, but yeah, the backyard leading up right into the cyan tree. This is going to be perfect. We can just pull a couple of these guys out here. I'm probably going to end up editing this just a tad bit because these right here where the blue wool is going to be i'll probably end up putting some bricks in building's not looking too bad i have a nice little patio area out here it is going down a lot of the stone i'm going to make a nice basement area but uh, the one thing that i got to do is uh, get up in here and figure out exactly how to take out rainbow mountain pretty basic house structure so far though i'm going to just have the uh, front door kind of off to the left side. I still need to take down the mountain in here too, but I just I just haven't done that yet. Basically, once I take all this out, I'll have to just poke the house through, and then maybe on the underside, I'll put the rainbow colors back in so you can't see the house from down on the bottom. Do need to continue working on this roof though, so I'm actually just gonna go bam, 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 bam. Maybe something in the middle would be cool, but for now, I'm actually just gonna continue the campfires over to this side. I also think it would be cool if we hop down here, because this patio, it's its nice. It's a nice area, but I think it'd be cooler if we were to bring it out just a little bit further. And we can use upside down stairs to show the support here. Yeah, building at these angles is very strange, but a lot of learning to be had. Finally getting rid of all of this wool so that we can actually go through and complete this floor. We've been uh, kind of ignoring this for a little bit now. Rainbow Mountain is entirely exposed. So many torches down there. I can't wait to finally get a building down in there, but uh, we got to build up here first. I'm thinking I probably should have taken these out before I started the build. It'll be nice to finish the calcite on this side here. Let's actually just start placing in that wall. We got to get the spruce logs here too. But now it's actually starting to take the shape of a house and I won't have to be able to fall off edges anymore. Actually, you know what? There's a lot of wool that we need to get down here. So I'm pretty sure it's just going to be piling up. Yep, there it is. Looks like we're picking up a bunch of candy here. Cool thing about this opening for now is that I can just fly out with ease. And I did want to show you, we do have a dirt aqueduct going on here. We have a giant bubble column. Rises the villagers all the way up here. I did not want to deal with any villager AI today. So uh, I am just strictly going with water movement. We have like the basic structure set up. So I think now's a good time to go back. Let's, uh, let's find one of these villagers and take them home. You, sir. You thought this was your home? This is uh, this is no longer here. Take this boat. Uh, let's get in it. Yep, there you go. Let's uh, let's get out of here. 
Just gonna go over the water real quick. We're just we're just gonna go fishing real quick, but we're just gonna go fish. We broke on through to the other side, and there happens to also be a bunch of other villagers chilling over here. I don't I don't know how these guys got here. It was by no means of mine. We named these, we actually brought a lot of these guys over on stream earlier today, and some of them are actually named because Twitch viewers can get uh, mobs and villagers named after themselves. Let's take our first victim over here. All right, so first things first, let's, uh, let's just take you and we'll go, actually, you know what? We need to double check to make sure you're not actually going to leave. He's immediately trying to go the other direction. Sir, I'm going to have to fight you. All right, hold on. We're going to have to make like a better option there you go so i got him in there you can get maybe this way can i push you over or is that just not not gonna work we're gonna have to fix this somehow oh he's getting sent up get up there bud just go on get in there meanwhile i'm going to actually fly up over here and see if i can get a good look at the guy if he comes out oh he is all right he is oh this is absolutely perfect so he's gonna make his way all the way down this guy's just, uh, you have, sorry, sir, you have zero control over what's happening, and, uh, yeah, I do, I do kind of feel for you. I did have a little bit of a hard time deciding what was going to be on the windows, and I decided to go with birch trap doors. I know there's a little bit of yellow tint to the coloring on that, but it is the way it is. I also decided to go with a little bit of flowering azaleas on the windows. All right, this guy should be getting dumped over. Oh, this is perfect, buddy. Go take a job. We have looms inside for you. He's so confused. He hasn't moved in like 10 seconds. Just kind of pushing this guy around, seeing if the AI will reset. You know what? He's just, okay. You can just, you can just get acclimated to your new environment and I will check back on you later. I'm going to go get a friend. These guys are all just getting sent one by one. This is actually kind of fun. I love doing this. This guy says, nah, but this guy says, all right, you guys are just going to push each other into there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on now. You guys are going to have to start behaving now. Uh, let's just do that. You can go in and you can go in. All right, you guys can both go up. Okay, so it looks like this guy took his job, but then ran away. So I'm going to have to get him back on a boat because I can't take this boat back up the mountain. Sir, please get back here. Please. Come back here and just get just get in that boat. No! All right, sir, I have a boat right here. Actually, maybe he just wants to run back up. Maybe this will work out. For now, though, I'm going to come back here with some... Yeah, we need some slabbage. I'm actually just going to continue what I was doing earlier and making sure that nobody can get down. One guy's coming down. I heard another guy open a door, so that means... Wait a sec. Hey, they're taking their jobs. This is perfect. All right, the interior decoration is coming along. Ni hey, this guy... Yes. Okay, this is nice. I blocked everything else off for now, but where's this guy? He's all the way down there. Okay, he has to get in the boat. There's no way he's making his way back up here. Sir, I'm going to put this right here. Get in this. Sir, you're being very difficult. I'm going to push you over there. Get in this boat if you can. I got a boat right here for you. Get in that boat. That guy is, that guy is actually the worst. While you are focused on the wall, what I'm going to do is get you in that boat, and we are going to make our way down the mountain, sir. Okay, I'm not going to lie. This is actually pretty fun. Going down the mountains is way more entertaining than driving the boat on the sidewalk. This guy kept his shepherd's job. Let's go ahead and put him right here. Nope, get in. Yeah, there you go. All right, guys. I am in love with this right now. So we got guys coming from down there. We have guys that are actually coming from the top. Oh, we had a big line right here. So we have two guys, three guys. We have four. There's five. Oh, and everybody makes it. Ooh, actually, while I'm looking at Rainbow Mountain, there's one thing. I saw this hole from pretty far away. I had this one magenta wall that I wanted to poke right here, and that completes that side of the mountain. Also, for some reason, I guess I just forgot to put all the campfires here for the roof. This awning is about to look not too shabby. Time to start decorating a smidge. Get a blue orchid over here, maybe another blue orchid over here. A couple blue orchids in the house. They never really hurt nobody. Got a couple of chandeliers hanging up and all of the assorted colors that are just hanging up kind of in storage in here. Now we can start trading with these guys though. Let's go here and yep, I guess we just need to get buy some shears from a couple of these guys. And we'll go over here, we'll buy some shears from you. I'm hoping I don't have to use water too much to get these guys into place. If I can just put that there. Ooh, actually wait, that's, that's wrong. If I can do that... Let's get that here and get the lantern there. There we go. Okay, so now we can take out this stair so you don't have to feel extra trapped. There you go, sir. I hope you're doing well. You know what? I might just push you in there too, sir. Oh, that's perfect. Wait, the lantern. Let's get you right there. Perfect. I think we got everybody into place now. I think, yeah, actually, let's get this plant in the middle. And I do believe we need to get a plant on the wall right there. I'm even going to put one more handy dandy plant right up in this corner. I haven't really had the chance to ever really make a shepherd's trading hall. So I'm kind of excited with the second round. They become 
able to sell different colored wool and different colored beds. I can't believe I just bought 10 brown beds. Might as well buy some yellow beds to offset that. Okay, so now we're going from expert to master. What are we able to buy now? Awesome. Okay, so you can buy three paintings for one emerald. I don't use paintings often in this world, but when I do, they usually look nice. I feel like out of respect, we gotta place a couple of the paintings back behind here. I'm hearing a zombie, and it's making me... Okay, so let's just break this. Okay, that is just... What? Okay, he must be outside. Let's take this guy out, because it's gotta be one of the husks that just never dies. And I see you, guy. What are you doing out here? The water is leaving us. Goodbye, water forever. I'll see us. I'll see you next time. But uh, yeah, we actually got to get this stuff taken down here. I'm just gonna start wailing away on this. All right, it's time to take out this bubble column. It's once and for all. It's time for you to get out of here, bub. Take out your power source, and you will be no more. And we make our way down. Wow, this house is looking gorgeous on the other side of the sun. Okay, so. I'm thinking, now you can see right here, we do have a chimney, but I'm thinking the other side of the house, it is kind of lacking a chimney right here. It's kind of plain, and we could definitely use another chimney. Build up with some andesite and some polished andesite. Loving the double chimney action right next to the quartz flags, and like I said earlier, we do have the back of the house leading right up into the magenta. One thing I wanted to get done back here, though, was, as you can see, these frog lights from the last episode. I like them a lot. I used them everywhere, and I decided to just go ahead and uh, put them around the bottom side of the house, too, because we had a lot of mobs that were kind of spawning down here. I didn't necessarily want to continue hanging a bunch of end rods all the way down. It got kind of repetitive seeming, so I just wanted to, you know, just put a little bit of frog light action all the way down here. And I love doing this because you just go up one, two, three, maybe even four sometimes, and you just take down the ones right below it, and you got yourself some floating lights. I also, real quick, just wanted to show you, I decided in the middle I didn't want to have too much keeping the villagers from getting out. There's a couple villagers that I was going to bring up as well, like free-roaming villagers up here. And if they happen to step into here, that wouldn't be too bad. So I put a couple of extra looms out here in case some villagers want to make their way over. I am excited about this, though, because I've never once had a build, like, on the side of, or even the top of a mountain, so this is just crazy for me. And we officially have 12 villagers living on the mountain now. This is, this is a first for me as well. All the rainbow, of all the rainbow mountains that I've ever built, never once have I put a structure on it or in it. So finally, we are miles ahead of the other series. Seriously though, guys, I do want to thank you all for watching. This was a fun episode. We are going to be putting a lot more builds on top of Rainbow Mountain and a lot more builds inside of Rainbow Mountain as well. On the very bottom, we are going to be putting builds down there as well as the other Rainbow Mountain. That thing is coming up. Rainbow Mountain number two, we're going to be working on that on a lot of the live streams coming up. Everybody, Wax Fraud here, and welcome back to episode 33 of the Hardcore Minecraft Let's Play series. We got a lot going on today. We are on Rainbow Mountain right now, and actually on the last couple of streams, we've been working on Rainbow Mountain 2. Down here, we have the light blue and the cyan going. If I fly a little bit further this way, I can actually get to the other side. This is actually, this is huge. So if you guys thought this rainbow was huge, this one, oh god, this is way bigger. So we are actually going to continue covering this desert biome up, and we I mean, we just keep on going and going. We've been following along this mesa here. We've been finding a lot of exposed mine shafts, getting a lot of different materials. We've had to cut through canyons like this right here, and I'm still actually cutting through this. This is this has been a major project. We actually, this is like a thousand blocks away. We, uh, on the backside of this mountain here, I've had to cut through this grass and stone, and then actually end up on this other side over here just to continue it. I'm trying to see where I left off on stream. I have used up like 12 rockets or maybe even more just getting out. Ah, there we go. Okay, yeah. So we uh, we ran out of the light blue completely, and so I'm just kind of using the cyan until I run out of this as well. Now, on my way back home, I did want to show you guys the long plays that we worked on in between these episodes, but also where we started the episode out for last episode's build, this Shepherd's Trading Hall. This was super fun to build, and I really do appreciate you guys coming and watching on stream. The interior was a little bit of a challenge, but we ended up getting through it, and the exterior, I'm, I'm just loving this. I actually came away very very proud of this build and i'm glad we finally got something into the side of rainbow mountain but let's go ahead and go back to the village real quick our first long play is actually this build right here i, I figured you know what we had an open space right here for so long if i actually get up a little bit higher this little area there was just nothing there for so long so i figured let's put a beacon in the center of it because i actually liked the beacon that was here looks like we have some villagers that are getting stuck uh oh actually never mind he's good these guys might be getting stuck sometimes on campfires mobs lose their ai and they can't go anywhere 
Every single color that we've gathered now has a home in here, and uh, also we just made this area look nice, which was a little bit more important. Then, right around the corner, right past Daniel and Daniel's friend. By the way, what's up, Daniel? What's up, Daniel's friend? How you guys doing? I'm going to go in here and show you guys the fifth floor that we had made in a long play. Let's go down to floor two, floor three, hop on down to floor four over here, and then we can make our way down to floor five. This is the newest floor, and we go back this way. I used glowstone instead of the shroom lights, and bada bing, bada boom. Actually, here we have the two sheeps that I'm using for floor six, if we ever want to do that. And if you are hearing zombie noises and spider noises, it's because down here, literally right below here, is an exposed mine shaft. And I had to dig around that on the long play. Feel free to check that out if you want. And if you did, I do appreciate you. Now, for today's episode, what I wanted to do, and you can probably see by the thumbnail and title, is get that stairway to heaven going all the way up Rainbow Mountain. I would like to use an abundance of quartz, smooth quartz, that is, to actually... Uh, build all the way up there, and in order to get a bunch of emeralds, I'm going to start selling some glass and probably a little bit of iron. As you can see also right here, we have a giant, and I mean giant mangrove forest. We usually take about three, four hours. Typically takes an entire stream to get one of these forests taken down, but this is actually how we get all of our mangrove wood. Also, a lot of people ask why I don't use, like, tree farms, automated tree farms, that is, like, with redstone, and I just don't really care to. I, I honestly enjoy taking this down. It gives me a lot of bone meal. I get to talk with chat on live streams when I do it. It's it's honestly just a lot of fun. Let's get some emeralds here real quick. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that a lot. As many emeralds as we can. And uh, these maps right here, I'm noticing one thing. Rainbow Mountain. We, we finished this two episodes ago, and I completely forgot to update the maps. Let's take these off here, make sure those stay right there, and then I'm gonna have to be careful about taking that off, that off, that off. Should fix these down here as well. This area right here looks like a candy land on the map. That is awesome. Over here looks like... Dang, yeah, Rainbow Mountain just uh, completed on the map looks absolutely insane. Let's go a little bit towards this side of the map over... Yeah, there we go. Look at that! That is awesome. I think we may have this completed now. I'm just double checking over here. We got the house right there. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and fly back home and put this back up. I think we can go boom, and then we can go boom, and then we can go boom. No, wait, we go boom, and then we go boom. Okay, this is awesome. These little trees that we put on top of Rainbow Mountain, this, is, this just got way cooler. Also, the house right here. Oh my god, when we get a whole city on top of this, it's gonna look insane. Now we can finally leave the cartography center. I'm going to go across the pond over here and go to the masonry trading hall. I'm going to gather some quartz because these guys, they sell quartz. You can smelt it, turn it into smooth quartz. I'm going to use smooth quartz just because I think it looks a little bit better. It blends well, and I don't know, I think it's just an overall better block. Thank you, sir, for the cheap one-to-one -one quartz. I do appreciate that quite a bit. We can also sell some iron for some emeralds, and actually, but on our way there, I always forget about this. This was something that I was going to do on stream, but then I did not. I always for oh, there they are, actually. I always hear zombies, and I always hear skeletons down here, like, forever. And uh, I finally found the cave, and I went down, and I didn't really do anything about it, but now I finally can. Okay, turns out there's a lot of zombies down- Whoa! They're all just holding items. That's why. They're, they just weren't able to despawn. Hello, sir. I know you want some uh, iron, and uh, I want the emeralds, so thank you. I do appreciate it. And you, sir, over here, I think you want some iron. I'll take some emeralds. Got a lot of quartz. We can actually come back. Okay, we have a lot of glass in there, too. But all of this blocks of quartz, we can actually just smelt that, and it'll turn into this smooth quartz. Because, actually, if you put them right next to each other, they're kind of... You can see small differences. So that's just regular quartz, and this is smooth quartz right here. The regular quartz has that, like, weird little darker edge around the side. And the smooth quartz just kind of... It's just smooth all the way around. So let's fly past this new little village uh, pathway area and uh, make our way over. Oh, what's up? We got some villagers making their way all the way down here still. That's awesome. Gonna hop back over to the path, and we got our nice little dogs here. We have a bed that's already set up for us. Okay. This is great. I think we need to get started. So we... Oh my gosh. As soon as I start, it's... Oh, okay. It's always raining a little bit. It's got to happen at least once every episode, but... Um, we might have to go to the nether if I run out of quartz because, I mean, there's always trading that we can do, but the nether sounds nice because there's a lot of quartz there, and if I can, it'd be nice to find a bastion and get my hands on that pig step disc. I don't know if that'll happen this episode, but, uh, if we go to the nether, we're definitely going to get more quartz. 
Right now, I'm kind of just going to have to gauge where I want these steps to go, because I need everything to connect, one, and two, I also need to probably take out a lot of this wool to make it so it's a smooth stairwell, so we're not climbing up stairs. I'd like for this to feel more like a, a gentle walk than just a, a staircase. Just got to take this line of quartz right here and make it all the way up to these frog lights. Honestly, if I just keep kind of keep hopping up, and uh, kind of make an abstract pathway up there. That's not a terrible idea. I could probably edit it a little bit once I get up to the top. We are so far up here now, and I mean, we're a little over halfway, but this is this is just going to be so many blocks of quartz. All right, and one stream later, and it was a pretty long stream, but we finally got it done. And actually, I really like the way this staircase is right. Ouch, that kind of that kind of hurt. I like the way the staircase is right now. We can hop up pretty gradually. I like got a lot of the slabs going either two or just one, but it's very gradual. But you can kind of just coast down here very gently all the way down the. Uh, Stairs kind of just wrap along the edge most of the way. I don't have them cutting through any tunnels or anything like that. What's up, pups? How you doing down here? But now since I got the general shape of the first part of the staircase done, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling pretty confident about getting some decorations around here. I wanted to first actually go up here and repair some of the parts that I broke. So like there's stuff down here. We got to get some of this in, that in. There's just a lot of parts like right here that were just left a little exposed and we just need to bring it out a little bit more. We need to cover up all evidence of there being a void here. Now, as far as lighting goes, I definitely don't want to keep these torches on the path here. And it's crazy how blinding the quartz is when the sun is like right in the like the highest point in the sky. But as far as the lighting goes, I did want to use some of the frog light action here again. I feel like having this go all the way up the mountain, these provide so much light. So it's just it's very I feel like it's just necessary and it's going to match what the top of the mountain looks like, too. So it's nice to stay consistent. But there's actually some new lights that we have not added to the game yet, and that is soul lanterns. We have these. These guys right here never put these in the game in like ever i have never used these so it's it's about time chat actually kind of thought of a cool idea and that was to use soul lanterns on this as a form of lighting since i'm already going to be using the frog lights as my main source of lighting like why not use a little bit of soul lanterns in here because they do provide a little bit of blue when we already have green yellow and a pinkish purple i feel like this will add a nice touch though just a little bit of birch here too because i feel like birch was the most neutral and lightest wood color that i could find We'll get some lights prepared up at the top as well, just so we can kind of see if we can see them from the top. I think that'd be cool. I want to get some like mini villager houses up here too, once we finally get this path done. What I'm thinking though right now is we do have a lot of frog lights that we're going to use for this path, and I'm running low. I'm running low on frog lights. I also don't have that many soul lanterns because I've never really gotten any soul sand from the nether. So I'm thinking right now we probably have to do another trip. Honestly, also while we're there, we could use a little bit more quartz and the nether is filled with quartz so let's actually just fly over there right now actually on my flight over here i'm remembering that in order to smelt all that quartz into smooth quartz we're gonna need more blaze rods as our fuel source we might as well spend a little bit of time afking in the blaze farm as well we got a lot of stuff to do today put our fancy pants on and head right in okay so let's uh hop out real quick let's go towards the area where we were ancient debris hunting i know there's a lot of quartz over there there's also just like if i go up here there's a lot of quartz and gold up here as well i will take as much of this as i can possibly get thank you very much line up towards the tippy top of the nether is where you're going to get a lot of the good stuff honestly some of this quartz just feels like it's never ending and it's a lot of never ending mending on your tools and equipment as well it's honestly nice coming down getting some gold too but always got to watch your back because someone's someone's always out here watching you give me the quartz the quartz is all i want Ooh, I found my little path. I haven't completed this part on the glass yet, but nice. This is actually where we ended up stopping. I haven't worked on this in months, but uh, I could do it again. We stopped over here after we uh, started working on blaze farms and frog farms. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to get away from the quartz. You're, you're on my quartz. Thank you. Please move. Heading on down to the frog light farm real quick. We have a bunch of nether quartz already. I feel like it's time to take a little bit of a break. I need to get more frog lights. I just locked myself out for a second. Got a lot of big magma cubes already ready to go. Let's go. All right, get out of here, sir. This right here is just therapy. I love doing this. Get out of here, sir. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time, sir. Thank you very much. All right, now we got to go past this guy over here. Let's go find a nice soul sand valley. I know there's going to be one out here. I mean, we, there's got to be one. If you search far and wide enough, you're gonna find one. This delta is huge, though. Ooh, okay, we have another fortress, and... Oh, looks like literally... That's a blaze farm right here. Nice. What's, oh, that's a lot of blazes. Let's, we don't need to be here right now. Let's just, let's just leave. And, oh, a soul sand valley. Okay, we have a gas. Hold on, buddy. You get, get, get out. Get out. You're ruining the fun. Sir, you're going down. You're going down. That's what we're doing today. 
You're done! Get out! It's got very loud and very hectic, and it didn't need to be like this, sir, but you're done! Well, all right, now we can focus on the peaceful Soul Sand Valley. It looks like, all right, we got a bunch of bone blocks everywhere. Run up here real quick. I guess I'll have me some of this. I always love the sound of taking these down, and the extra bone meal is not bad. This stuff right here is really what we came here for. This is going to give us all of the soul lanterns that we need. And I know sea lanterns would be a good option too for some lighting up there, but we do not have a guardian farm yet, and I haven't raided enough ocean monuments, so uh, we, uh, we still got to get that done too. So we have collected quite a lot of stuff on this nether trip. Uh, we have a lot of nether quartz. We have actually a lot of glowstone that I decided to get too, because trading for it, you know, that's a little boring. I, I like to mine the quartz out. And I like to mine the glowstone out. It's a little bit more fun. But I think it's time for us to fly back real quick. We have plenty of materials. Let's, uh, I think we, I think we're going the right way. But let's, let's go home and, uh, we need to finish this stairwell. On my way back here, I did actually have a small idea. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna start down on the bottom. Because we should just work our way up and just move up slowly. Get everything decorated one by one. And I, I know it's not, uh, neutral like the white of the quartz or the light color of the birch. But I kind of wanted to get a couple of archways here done with the flowering azalea just to see what it looked like it might be cool it could be cool we just have to i don't that's a it's a strange arch but if we add more flowers like it's just more natural i think that'd be cool instead of looking like trimmed hedges these are going to be like more natural looking i've been using a rule where after i uh, kind of decorate the outside with just a bunch of random bushes just to kind of make it look a little bit overgrown i uh, walk up the path about three seconds we have one two three and then i'll stop about right here and then we're gonna make another gate going all the way up honestly this has been one of the most like refreshing episodes for my brain because i haven't had to think of what i'm gonna build it's all been pretty much freestyling all the way up this mountain <laughs> this one turned out to be <laughs> this is weird okay so we'll bring it down a little bit further this way I was thinking every now and then it's probably a good idea to place a potted plant, get a flowering azalea in there just to spice it up every now and then. If we put these like, you know, everywhere, if we get like a stack, maybe two stacks of these, it's it's de it's most definitely going to make it look a little bit nicer. I was thinking a little bit in addition to these flowering azaleas and the potted plants, we could get some quartz pillars, you know, just towering up maybe two, three blocks every time. Soul campfire surrounded by some spruce trap doors. I think this might not, you know, that's not too shabby. The sun is going down and the light sources are kind of revealing themselves here right now. I'm going to continue making this look a little bit better. Some of these are looking weird, but as we go down, lighting is going to be important, especially at night here. What I'm thinking another light source could be is if we just tower up with a couple of these here, we could actually have just some hanging soul lanterns from the end rods. That's, a, you know what? That's kind of cool. I'm going to keep doing this. Get one like right in the hedges, go right there. Ooh, not bad. So regarding the pillars, I actually had an idea to make them a little bit more snazzy, give them a little bit more character. I'm actually going to use some soul sand. We're going to go around and put the upside down stairs all four ways. Get some end rods on top of the upside down stairs, and then you'll actually get the stairs going upside. Slap some blue flames right down there. This is looking nice. I know we are literally playing with fire on this because uh, this whole if, if this fire happens to spread, we could, uh, you know, burn everything down. But uh, I feel like, you know, that's just part of the fun, having a little bit of danger here. We're going to put some iron trap doors. Then we're going to go below and hang some azalea flowers here. And of course, it's raining again. It's, it's always raining. Obviously, these amethyst clusters are just going to make everything look a lot nicer. And I actually thought it would be cool if we had little hydration stations up here for the villagers. You know, a little bit of a scaffolding, just one barrel and a lever. It looks like it's containing some water. And this might look a little strange, but I thought just having a little bit of decoration with some of the sea pickles here and there might just give it a little bit more character. Looking nice. I actually got a bunch of composters down here, but they don't really have any of the leaves in them yet because I couldn't decide on which color. And I'll just make sure we're in the desert before I show you guys real quick. We have a lot of different leaves here that I tested. Oak, they just turn a little bit yellow. See how they're green in our inventory and then they turn yellow. Same with mangrove. It's kind of like a yellowish tint to the green. Acacia still has a yellowish tint, but for some reason spruce, it just, it's stays that dark green color. Not sure what it is about spruce, but the desert does not affect it. So we'll fly on down. It is the spruce right here that uh, we are deciding to put in. Something else that I thought might be kind of cool and different was if we had a little bit of birch trap door surrounding some areas with some podzel, and we put the tall flowers in, like the rose bushes, the peonies, or the lilacs. I think, you know, that might be kind of nice. 
we can put some of these in spots where they're not very much expected at all. I'll put one right up here. That way, when we look up on the path, we got a peony. I think we've evolved to a level where we can start to get these potted plants down here, and we can put different flowers in. I'm going to get some orchids, some corn flowers, and some tulips up here, too. I was thinking it is nice to have the uh, the flowering azaleas and the alliums, but we got to have some other types of flowers up here, too. We have so many decorations here now. This is awesome. I decided actually also to get a nice little gazebo going down here because when I, I, you know, I felt like when we started this path, I wanted there to be some sort of enclosure that we can walk through. Get some gates up here. We'll even get some plants going here. We'll hang them down just like we were all the way down the mountain. The roof done here. Ouch. But we're going to get the roof done with the campfires here. We'll hop up. Put a nice little cap on the top and we'll go around here and get some lights for the bottom side this is good to go and you know what we'll do to get even more decoration over here we're just going to go a little bit of checkered board action with the spruce trap doors something i forgot to do but i think is crazy important is the use of the glow berries i have not been using those very much and i want to basically on the bottom of all of the frog lights that we're using on this build i'm probably just going to hang some glow lights from them i know we're already getting light sources from these but uh, you know it's it's not necessarily for the light this is just pretty much for uh, decoration i had one more idea to bring a little bit of life to this channel we got a lot of sheep over here that have been breeding and uh, we just got some free roman grazing sheep they're not going to be free for very much longer though because i'm going to take a couple of these guys and you're going to come up with me to, to the tippy top of the mountain now this might take a while because sheep are notoriously some of the dumbest mobs I feel like to uh, to drag along with the leads and uh, so let's uh, let's see how long this takes. All right, yep, exactly. We literally lost one within seconds of me saying that. All right, come on guys, let's uh, let's get this done. I guess it would help and make my life a lot easier if I just uh, brought out the wheat for these guys to follow me too. What I'm gonna do is just get one of you guys right there. Actually, wait, we can't do that yet. I'm gonna take only you and get you right there. Let's take you and you. I'm gonna put you right there and then I'm gonna take you, sir, and actually just take you back down right over here to this guy. Let's fly back down here real quick. You know, we can probably make a couple more sheep. At least. Yeah, let's make a couple more sheep since we're about to, you know, kind of deplete the population. All right, guys, I think it's your turn. You're going to follow me up there. I think what I'm going to do for all these white sheeps is just kind of color them up all the way to the tippy tops. We got the green. I got the lime green guy right here going into a yellow guy going right up into an orange guy right here and then we have the red guy that will go right there and actually uh, this might come to a surprise to you guys but we have a new building up here that we built on stream this is a nice little community center actually you know what here's what we'll do i'm going to fly up and away and above the clouds of, of course so we can't see anything and boom this guy right here i'm loving this so much we have a nice little community center that we can go all the way to the oh my god actually i'm just realizing right now i did not complete this back porch area Let's get these two dead sticks here to make the bush complete, and then we'll hop to the outside. I actually have some spruce trap doors that I was trying to get in here. Then it's time to hang some plants. We'll go bing, boom, and bop with a little bit of azalea action over here too. Okay, so now we can take a little bit of a flight away to take a look at it, and boom. I wanted a balcony on this side to overlook the new Rainbow Mountain and what it is going to be down here. We do have the dark green up there, because the shepherd's trading hall actually looks out towards where the village is going to be creeping up onto Rainbow Mountain, but the other side, we don't really have anybody to look out over here, so I figured... We got the balcony on the opposite side, but I do love this area because you can just walk up. We got the colored sheep and we have a nice little front door here. I've tried to make it as cozy as possible in here. We have a little bit of a bed, storage. You can actually walk all the way up here. You have a little bit of a balcony inside the house and you can go upstairs to more storage. Hopefully some villagers end up making their way up here. I did put a bell out here, so the village is going to start. This does actually go out to the balcony out here as well. I am loving this. It's even looking good at night during the rain. Oh man, I'm loving this. I It's awesome having this just brushy, lushy area everywhere. I've been added a couple of beds on the way up just in case I was getting sleepy. And there is actually one last thing that I had forgotten to do, and it's on the top of the community center up here, and that's the flag. And uh, we usually use these uh, smooth quartz slabs as the flags anyways, and so now it's, it's nice to actually have a little bit of consistency up here. Looking nice. Okay, guys, that is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Today was so fun. It was so nice to not have to focus on like a, an actual building. It was uh, it was really refreshing building this giant stair. 
staircase. Hi everyone, Wax Fraud here, and welcome back to episode 34 of the Minecraft Hardcore Let's Play series. We got a lot going on today. We are building a bamboo farm, but uh, there's a couple things that we got to do, of course. So first over here, I noticed uh, last episode we did end up building in a long play this terracotta storage center, which is great because in here I have all of the storage that I need for all of my terracotta and glazed terracotta. But all of these guys, I think they lost their AI and pathfinding abilities because they are just absolutely stuck. There's no way for them to move. What I think I'm going to do is maybe take this guy out here. We'll put this here. I'll take this guy out here and I'll put that here. Now there's absolutely nobody that can get in. I believe this should be working. And then these guys, I think the only way to get them out is to maybe drop them below. But this, I hope this works. All right, you're going to fall. It's going to be okay. Sir, did you just fall? Come on. What's, whoa, come on now. Okay, so maybe put this here. Oh, no, 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 wait. Take that there. And then maybe just breaking this block, this block. Uh, let's just let them... Dude, I am so sorry for smacking you with the axe. Hold on. Okay, okay, hold on. We got that. All right, you get out there. Thank you. Let's just keep pushing these guys over to the edge then. Maybe I didn't even need to break that block. This is an absolute mess. There's like 200 to 250 villagers in this city, and they are just running amok. We have so many problems with these guys but i do love it it does make everything a lot more fun honestly if these guys were just chilling hanging out doing nothing it'd be a, they'd be a lot more boring so i'm glad they're here to, you know taking jobs up and causing problems other than baby turtles i think vill villagers actually might be my favorite mobs just because they're on they're just so funny what's going on daniel and uh daniel's friend can't forget you how you doing and guys i'm actually going to show you real quick we have some long plays the axolotl sanctuary it did come out right before the uh, 33rd episode and i completely forgot to show you guys this last episode so i'm going to show it to you right now this thing was probably one of the most fun long plays that i recorded i had a lot of fun recording this and oh man this thing's very overgrown let's do that yeah this thing is just nice and cozy i hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching if you did there's a lot of axolotls in here they seem to be getting stuck right and like why are they getting stuck we'll take you and just move you out here and yeah these guys actually all have names because on stream viewers will get their uh twitch names named after these axolotls we have another guy that's hiding down here what's going on dude i gotta like actually get rid of some of these spots where they can get stuck got another one that's stuck down here what are you doing right there and you right here what are you, what are you doing there we go we got another stuck guy right here, and boom, all right. Okay, now we have a flourishing axolotl environment. We also have a long play that was built on the other side of the map. It takes a couple rockets to get all the way over here now. It's kind of crazy how much that we've built. Pulling up over here, bada bing, and bada boom, we have ourselves a nice little moss dome. I am loving this area here because I've never built anything with, like, just strictly moss and mossy cobblestone. Walking in here is awesome. It's nice and cozy. I wanted this to be, like, a little starter house design. I feel like it's something that I might use as an underground design as well. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this long play. Oh, whoa. We got a bee right. Wait, hold on. Does this bee want in? Should we let the bee in? Yeah, there you What's up, dude? Okay, he's just trying to get in here. That was fun. I hope you guys uh, did enjoy this long play, though. Thanks for watching those. And as you can see, we did leave a lot of the taller 2x2 two two trees out. And I think we're going to keep doing that more this direction because I did decimate the entire jungle biome. And I think we should probably bring it back with some more nature-style builds over here. Dude, I haven't checked out this hole in a long time. Let's... Oh, my God. We got these guys stuck right here. Dude, let's get you down. You can get a job down. There you go. You can get it. Oh, my God. I pushed him into the fire. I am so sorry, dude. <laughs> Looks like there's another guy that's stuck right over here. I wonder if we can help him. We can actually just push him into the water, maybe. I believe this guy might be stuck on the vines, and he's not moving, so I'm just going to do that. Sorry, dude. Uh, let's get you over. Yeah, there you go. He's off the vines a little bit. Let's go that way. Yeah. Oh, my God. I am so sorry. <laughs> believe me, I did not think the health was that low. Oh, my God. I just saw... I just... What did I just... I just saw that out of the corner of my eye. Dude, dude what's happening here? Okay. So this guy's stuck, this guy, these guys are also stuck. Let's just fly over here with these guys. Maybe we can start pushing them off slowly. Don't fall, don't, mean, okay. Let's go this way. Dude, what did he just, okay, he fell down here too. Let's go down this way. These guys are crazy. These guys are absolutely nuts, these farmers down here. What I do plan on doing down here, I'm still going to make a village because there's still a giant area down here to make a cave village out of. Just trying to finish everything we have on the goal board and we'll go this way actually towards the goal board. Uh, there's two things left and I did mention we are going to do that bamboo farm today, but we are going to take a look because I think there's one more thing, but I cannot remember and it is, yes, the butcher's trading hall. Butcher's trading hall is coming soon as well. I've never made 
made one of those, so I'm actually pretty excited about that. Also, before we do start anything, we do gotta show you guys what we did last episode. This right here is everything that we worked on. This took actually a long time, a lot longer than I thought it was going to. We usually try to release an episode every six days. This episode had to come out after eight days of work because it was just a lot of work. But thanks for watching if you did. We have so much decoration and I'm, I'm just loving this here. We have all the colored sheep going all the way up. I know a lot of people were requesting the Jeb sheeps, but we do have a plan for those Jeb sheeps for the underside of the Rainbow Mountain. Also, uh, this soul fire right here has not caught fire or spread to the wool on the Rainbow Mountain yet, so I believe we are good love having a path to walk on. I mean, yeah, like normally walking off the path, it's it's still nice because you can go over here and everything is great because you're looking at all the colors. But when you go over here and you have a slabbed up path, it's just, you know, just a little bit nicer. And when you walk up to the top, we have this nice little community center here that the villagers have not made their way to yet, but they will hopefully eventually with this nice back tower here, they can look over the edge of Rainbow Mountain. And what a view we have here. You can jump all the way down and even see our progress on the new Rainbow Mountain. We're all the way on lime green already. We've spent a couple different streams doing the new Rainbow Mountain, and this is enormous, guys. If you haven't been there live on the Twitch streams, and by the way, twitch.tv slash waxfraud if you want to come join live every single day. But this, uh, yeah, this is huge. If you guys thought the Rainbow Mountain behind us is huge, this one right here is astronomical. This back balcony is looking pretty cool from back here. And it is nice having a second house over here. I know I was mentioning it last episode, but it's just nice that we have something all the way over here. Eventually, it'd be nice to maybe get like a bridge all the way over here. Maybe instead of a pathway, we get a direct bridge over to the Shepherd's Trading Hall all the way over here. We could have one going through the backside, or maybe we could take out this middle part and make this a door. Honestly, we could do anything. There's there's so many possibilities with these buildings on Rainbow Mountain. And one of the things we could do to Rainbow Mountain to bring more life is, you know, just throw some eggs around, bring some chickens down here. I think it's time to bring some chickens out here and, you know, just have, let them be the first of many species that are going to live on this mountain. We're going to spam click all these chickens into existence. We've got to spread the life out, too. We can't just let it all be in one spot. Chickens, I uh, hope you guys are going to enjoy your new home. There sure are a lot of them over here. What we could do, and what I probably will do, is make a Rainbow Mountain Top Chicken Coop. Uh, now to start the bamboo farm, and I did really enjoy this big area where we built the Moss Dome, and I'm thinking I might expand on this by building the Jungle Bamboo Farm right over here. Actually, I might run all the way over here and do it right next to the Dripstone Farm, and I'm actually thinking, what are these cows doing over here? All of them have just kind of migrated to one spot. What's up, guys? There's not even any... Is it this cave? There's no trees over here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna actually just go over here. Let's lay some water buckets down and take everything out. We're gonna... Oh, yeah, that's that's just too effective. We're gonna keep doing that and make a nice little space to start our build. We are gonna actually be grabbing an abundance of cobbled deep slate because we have a lot to go on this build. And actually, what I need to do is replace one of the... You know what I'll do is just get rid of these. There we go. This might end up looking a lot like the melon and pumpkin farm where we do kind of a plus sign shape and have the redstone uh, all kind of creeping towards this middle hopper section here. If you haven't seen that episode yet, it's actually episode 13, I believe. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same build, except we use a lot of jungle wood and oak wood. And on this one, we're going to be using a lot more stone. Got it raised up a little bit on stream. And instead of using the plus sign design, I decided to use just a big old rectangle. It's going to work out in the end. For now, on the sides, I think what we'll do is put a little bit of oak in between here. And this will add a little bit of texture. I'm going to add some chains down below. Obviously, we're going to get the wall to fence to chain to lantern action going on this build as well. Actually, what I'm going to do is change these out. I was using oak, but I think maybe using spruce instead might look a little bit better. I'm going to try it here. I just wanted a little bit more of the like contrast with the colors here. The spruce being just a little bit darker than the oak is going to work. I also kind of realized that on the back side of this build, we have another build with this same exact color scheme and I didn't even realize what I was doing. We have a lot of cobbled deep slate, a lot of jungle, and a lot of oak, so I think we need to switch it up and we're gonna use a little bit of spruce. Yeah, the spruce right here is looking a, a lot better, and as you guys can tell, it is a little bit taller than you'd think a typical bamboo farm is. So, again, with the spruce, we're gonna go here with the trap doors, and I'll actually get one right there if I can. We'll hop on here, and this is actually going to be very nice. And I wanted to bring it around the side just like this as well. Then, while leaving one block space in between, we'll go back around with the same design for the trapdoors. So I thought right here, going only three blocks up and using the deep slate tiled walls, as well as the spruce fence gates and the spruce fences, I 
thought this would actually add a little bit of more texture and not necessarily where the windows are going to go but just uh, something to help me raise this up now this is where it gets a little weird i thought it would be pretty cool to go up here with some tiled walls but uh, in between we're gonna have to go with the spruce fence gates again and i'll take a step back because i can't really see what it looks like yet but uh, this isn't really necessarily something i've tried before so i'm just it's kind of still a mystery let's go back here and that's not bad i actually really do like that texturing i wanted to go inside as well because it's about time we get the redstone started up here let's grab some observers and some pistons first things first obviously you got to plant your bamboo here and off to the side what we're gonna do is just go ahead and get some mossy cobblestone and some verdant frog lights as decoration blocks next you got to go ahead and put the pistons on the second block up so that they cut the bamboo right at this second block once again, I'm about to use the Mossy Cobblestone and Verdant Frog Light action. I'm just using these because uh, Mossy Cobblestone, you can find it in the Jungle Temple. And Verdant Frog Light, you can't really find it in the jungle naturally, but it is green and it. I, I like the look of this. I'm going to continue covering it with glass on the way up as well because the piston will send all of these flying. Then while facing the opposite direction, you can go ahead and place all of the observers down. You want to get behind the area that you're trying to place these down into so that they can face towards the bamboo then for any of this to work you got to get back here and load up the redstone you can go ahead and get it all to connect right here then to disconnect these two lines it's fine because it'll still work you just got to get one layer of blocks i'm just using deep slate because it's what i was using on the outside and i uh, just kind of want it to all be a little bit consistent uh, this should work now we can go ahead and place a bamboo right there and bam well now we can get this on all four sides this is going to be nice the only thing is now, I guess all of this bamboo needs to get collected. Now what I've done so far is build a little hole underneath the build. I can actually go in the middle of it, but uh, we dug out at a giant space right here. And what we should do is actually just get rails everywhere. I'm witnessing an Enderman do a crazy dance. Oh, I, oh, he saw me. He's looking at me. I'm just going to hop this way. He's going to keep on chasing me. And what I'm going to do is just hop over to the water. Try and get at me in the water, dude. Just try and get at me in the water. I bet you cannot get over here. You are very loud, yet unable to get into the water over here. Bet you wish you could swim, huh? Get over here. Get over here! You know what? If you're not- if you can't swim, then you deserve this. You deserve this here right now. Just wanted to go back up and get the redstone torches, but everyone's trying to fight me. Uh, we got this up now. I think what we should do- I'm gonna go up this way. I can hear the bamboo getting caught still. Let's go see if we can continue. I have this open space right here where we actually should take that out and make that a powered rail and we'll put this minecart right here and we'll push it and that should be good. Okay, looks like it gets stuck on these guys here. Let's- oh wait! I have to run around to this side because he's getting stuck. Okay, let's get that and hopefully it doesn't get- okay, let's get this taken out too. This thing is flying, and this down here is collecting. I'm about to make this look a little bit nicer, but uh, I'd like to make the exterior look good first. I just wanted to make sure this was functional. We have plenty of bamboo, and just in time, because 1.20 is coming out in about a month, and I'm, I'm excited for it. About to have the entirely new wood type with all the new blocks and the rafts as well. We have a new little entrance that goes down into there. I just wanted to spice it up. I also decided instead of the spruce fence gates, I'm going to use azalea bushes in between there. I just thought it might add a little bit more depth. And uh, we are using azalea flowering bushes down there and bamboo right here. There's also ferns that grow in the jungle next to the bamboo. So I thought it might be appropriate to go ahead and put some ferns up here. Up around here, I believe that's it. And our building section in here opens up to bam, bada bing and bada boom. This is kind of nice. You can always hear that thing running under. Minecart is going crazy constantly. Constantly, and we have both sides here that are going to be equal. Uh, the only thing right now that I have left to do is this top layer that I'm covering up with moss and azalea bushes, but... I'm thinking the melons might look good here as well. I am running low on these flowering azaleas, and by running low, I mean I'm completely out. That was actually the last of what I had, so luckily I'm next to a giant field of azaleas. I'm going to go around. Let's just bone meal as many of these as we can with the bone meal that we have. And then we'll smack all these leaves right out of existence. Yeah, and this is pretty nice because I only bone mealed like five or six trees and I already have almost a stack of the flowering azalea leaves. As you can see in the windows are going to be the verdant frog lights. I'm doing that all the way up and actually a quick way. I'm just going to go ahead and fly there right now. I'm going ahead and putting all of the verdant frog lights right in the side of the windows here. I think it just makes it a little bit brighter. This roof alone has taken up like half of my jungle log inventory. We still have a lot to do. I don't even know what I'm going to do with this open space, really. 
Might be a good idea to actually start getting an arch over here, though. We'll actually start putting the stairs up like that. Actually, nice. Okay. And I think that might complete the archway. We got a little carried away with the details on the inside, but on the outside, it's kind of it's making a little bit of a face with the hanging plants right there, but I like this a lot. It's nice and cozy in here now. I got went ahead and got the jungle buttons everywhere. As you can see, we have the glowberries starting to hang down and bring more light in. Also up top, I decided to have some end rods hanging. Just thought that would add a nice ambiance, and uh, I couldn't really see up there before, so I'd like to, you know, just have some light up there just in case any spiders want to spawn. I would not like it if anything were to hide up there. That would just, that would be awful. And right here, this is actually where a mistake was made. So uh, if you guys can tell, we have one, two, three, four, five, six on that desk. And over here, we have one, two, three, four, five. That is how I discovered that this is wrong. I have this side over here, one block less than this entire side over here. I don't know how I did it. On the outside, it is completely symmetrical, but on the inside, this is one block inside too much, and I don't know how I did it, but it's 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 gonna drive me insane. On the second level, I thought it'd be cool to use a couple of jungle stairs instead of the walls on the bottom, just to add a little bit more of a uniqueness here. And up top, every other, what I'm doing is placing jungle trap doors. I have a small plan. I wanted to place a bunch of moss down, make this area nice and green. And then I wanted to add a little bit of bamboo. I feel like this roof was going to be just a little bit more or less the same than uh, all the other roofs that I've been making. And I, I feel like uh, just to stop that uh, ahead of time, let's just put some plants up here. This entire roof is about to be bambooed up. Gotta run down and grab more bamboo. Let's actually see how well this thing has been performing. Let's go over here real quick, and boom. And oh my god, we have a bunch of bamboo. Also made it look a little bit nicer over here, just a little bit more cozy if we wanted to head down here. I just, you know, wanted something to look at. I could do this all day long. Bamboo's looking good. We got an entire forest here, but uh, the one thing that I want to do is just make sure that nothing is allowed to spawn. So we're doing buttons all day, every single day. Next, I wanted to go to the corners and actually use composters as a little bit of a stand for the campfires over here. Nice, and the fire just makes it all cozy. I'm going to take these lanterns out of the middle. They kind of don't really belong right now. And I'm going to connect the two ends completely with all of these deep slate tile walls. Now I want to do every other one and actually get some jungle saplings planted up in here because these are nice. I like having these hanging up around here and up on the roof. Get some amethyst up here on the roof as well. I think that's going to look kind of nice. Not bad at all. All this bamboo is looking pretty good here. I'm going to fly away real fast and just take a quick turn around. Nice. It looks like this building has hair growing on it. It's like a chia pet. It's looking kind of nice, except for right here, actually, now that I'm noticing. We'll bring the spruce fence gates probably just about right there, right there. Got it on the back side here too, and we can take a look now. Oh my gosh, this is looking fantastic. I kind of can't see it because the sun is shining on the other side, but the purple up top with all of the lights and jungle saplings giving it a lot of color up here. Wild wandering trader has been spotted. What do you got for me, sir? You got all the dyes. Small drip leaves, actually that is something I do want. I'm gonna, let's get out of here. Got my emeralds, let's fly all the way back. That guy better still be here. I'm gonna come fully prepared with a full stomach this yep there he is okay so sir hey thanks for being here thanks for the drip leaves and you know what thanks for the orchids as well and now it's time to go you llamas uh, you gotta go as well thanks for being here guys i do appreciate the uh everything you do you guys saw absolutely nothing Let's run through the archways over here and take a look at the dripstone farm. I haven't been in here in a while, so I'm assuming that it's probably a little overgrown. And oh yeah, look at all of these. So let's actually, that's yeah, let's just start to take all this out. Could easily get a couple stacks right here. What I wanted to do though was right on the outside was get a little bit of dripstone action going on. I haven't been doing that on the other side of the world. And I just remembered since I'm over here, oh, well, that was nice always seeing a birch tree grow right in front of your eyes. But yeah, it is nice to get the dripstone over here as well. I'm going to start implementing this a little bit more and more. Hi everybody, Wax Fraud here, and welcome back to episode 35 of the Hardcore Minecraft Let's Play series. I can't believe we're on episode 35 already. We got a lot going on today. Leaving the top of the mob farm, I gotta go over to the horse stables, because I have a couple names here that you guys had come up with in the comments, and I figured it's been a couple episodes since we named a couple horses, so why don't we get on over here? 
First things first, walking up to my man, we got Horatio right here. And then the next horse we got is going to be Homie. Achu right there. And then who else? We, all these guys got names. Oh my God. Except for this guy right here. We got Homie. Nice. I love our little horse population in here. We can uh, breed some more. Let's get these guys going. Oh my God. They go absolutely crazy for golden carrots. This is, this is absolutely nuts. Yo, little baby horse. What's up, dude? We got a bunch of little baby horses. Taking these baby horses with me. All right. Come on, guys. I don't know if I've ever had baby horses follow me in a single file line with a golden carrot, and this is maybe my new favorite thing. Ooh, we got a librarian right here. 1.20 coming up soon, which means we got new library style books coming up. I can't wait for the new blocks. I'm going to make a new like underwater library or a new underground library somewhere when that comes out. I'm pretty excited for it. Buddy, what are you doing? Hey, get off the sea pickle. There you go. Come over here, guys. Follow me on the mossy path. Dude, these two horses get it, but this gray spotted one just absolutely does not get it. Buddy, hey, you know what? Fine, these two obviously want the carrot. This one does not want the carrot. He's, he's got his sights on something else. Okay, now the white horse has officially decided he does not want the carrot anymore. This guy's good, but that... <laughs> what's What happened? Dude, the horse just make a beeline to the left as soon as they don't want the carrot anymore. Well, all right. This guy made it all the way back pretty easy. The other two, I have no idea where they went. Let's actually take this guy inside wait nope he's stuck right there let's get a lead buddy get over here come on and yep let's uh let's tie you up over next to the house you're not going anywhere sir you are now the house horse if you guys can think of a name for this horse please write it down in the comment section down below it doesn't have to start with an h it's whatever you guys want okay let's see is that white horse around here i actually do not see that guy that's not very good okay let's go look for the other horse real quick is the other okay i found this guy you sir are gonna come home with us by lead Hey, the other horse is here. Okay, get out of there, bud. The land, the actual land is over here. If you guys want to name these two horses as well, go right ahead. Leave a comment down below. I'm excited to hear what you guys think. And why am I swimming upside down right now? What's going on? What I'm going to do is actually put one of you guys right here in front of the Rainbow Sheep Sharing Wool Farm because we do frequent this place quite a lot. And then I'm actually going to take you in front of the very front side of the house. I feel like we should start hooking up more horses to fence posts as decoration all the way around town. It kind of looks nice. It adds a lot more life for sure. And horses are awesome. Behind baby turtles, baby horses are definitely the best mob. That is enough horsing around though for right now. We have to head over to the goal board because Bamboo Farm, we did that last episode. So we got this going on. Boom. Last goal on the board is the butcher trading hall i'm excited i've actually never made this type of trading hall before and uh yeah you usually don't like utilize the smokers at all so it'll be fun to do that as well we have so many villagers why are y'all staring what are you inspiring about huh why y'all staring it, it never ends man they just keep on breeding i take them out of here and they just they breed again we're i'm gonna get more meat though we have a lot of beef a lot of chicken and a lot of pork a lot of the uh the sheep and uh llama meat that we could get up in here too because i'm i'm assuming all that raw meat we're gonna have to sell get the pigs some carrots over here what's up little baby pigs uh and you know what i actually might make a pig pen pretty soon like give them something on their own we could actually just make this whole place for cows and the sheep you guys deserve your wheat as well that guy is stuck and that's absolutely hilarious i'm sorry dude you know what i'll come in here i'll give you some wheat but uh can, can he even eat he did he ate <laughs> he's just a part of the barn now you're just you're just a part of the structure might as well pop up into the chicken coop, make some more chickens, uh, because I know that raw chicken is something that we're going to be selling for emeralds as well. It's fun. I don't really come here to make chickens. I usually come here to kill a chicken on stream uh, quite often because I do have that channel point reward, but uh, th th this is nice. And I'm actually surprised that all of these chickens are here because usually I'll come here and there will be zero chickens because an ocelot will spawn in here because I am in the jungle biome right now. And when an ocelot spawns in here, it just kind of decimates the whole population. I'm going to throw these eggs. There's a lot of eggs coming up. We've been dealing with a lot of pretty nice mobs in the overworld here, so I think we've been spoiling ourselves. It's time to go to the nether. I actually have something that I've been meaning to go through for a while. Put on my fancy pants here and head through the portal. Definitely taking more rockets. Actually, this way during the unfinished section of the highway tunnel here. Going to keep going just a little bit further and take one more rocket to the right. There's a bastion all the way out here that I have not explored yet. I'm going to take a nice, safe approach at the top here. I do not have my bow and arrow out, which is pretty dumb. Every time I get to one of these, I just have the urge to take it down layer by layer. I don't know why, but I just do it every single time. So, kind of strange, but I don't 
see any piglins. Like, I don't, I don't see any brute piglins or anything around here. I see one zombified pigman, but that's, that's it. No, two. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. That's soul sand. Okay, something's wrong here. Ooh, I have our first piglin friend. What's up, dude? Got a piglin just trapped back there. I'm gonna, I'm sorry, dude. You gotta, you gotta go. Ooh, and he was guarding a chest, which had crying obsidian in it. Nice. Always take that golden apple, too. I'm gonna take a circle flight here around to see if I can get anything from the side. This hoglin doesn't have to be here. Time for you to go, buddy. There we go. I mean, it's it's cool that there's not a lot of enemies here, but, I mean, where are all of the enemies? I'll take this gilded blackstone without any buddy, like, challenging me, I guess, but... There's no brute piglins or anything here. One more piglin. I'm sorry, dude. If I do this, it'll bring the other brute piglins out, and it'll it's just what we need. And you, Magma Cube, you can be gone too. Well, now this is just wild. I still haven't seen a brute piglin, and I'm about to take this gold right here. This is great. Fly around the backside here. Got some platform. Ooh, okay, cool. So we can take that. Thank you, sir. Chiseled polished blackstone always looks good. I can just make it, but it's nice. To oh god, it's nice to just take it. Sorry, guy. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. I love this gilded blackstone. I want to put it in some builds, but I definitely need more of it, so I gotta find some more bastions, that's for sure. <gasps> oh, Lana Ray. Pig step, let's go! I found pig step. Okay, that's amazing. I'm gonna see if I can long shot this piglin from all the way over here, and. Oh, he moved! You son of a gun, I'm just gonna go in like this. How dare you! How dare you! The piglins are here and they are moving. Let's just go that way and gotcha, buddy. Okay, so I was digging a tunnel. I just found a random chest. I didn't even... What? I don't even think that's supposed to be like that, but take anything I can find. I was pretty much just trying to get some more blackstone and take this whole place out, but we found ourselves a uh, brand new chest. Don't know how lucky I'll get in finding other stuff, though. I mean, I could keep digging for more blackstone for right now, but we did get quite a bit, almost a whole shulker box full. Zombified piglin, like, scared me, dude. That was a big jump scare. Maybe that's a sign I should just get out of here. Uh, like, I've got enough. I did find pig step. Let's just, uh, you know, jump up and fly out. Let's get back to the nether highway if I can find it. Looks like, yes. Okay, it is all the way down here. This is perfection. Let's just get straight on. Use the elytra to get in here. I'll have to come back. Ouch. Wow. Uh, that was, I need to be careful, man. I almost just, I almost just popped the totem right then and there. What was I thinking? All right, let's, uh, let's maybe just hop. Let's get in the glass. Then let's use the fireworks. Okay. Get a couple of these guys up in the blast furnace. And, oh man, let's go. Let's go play this music disc. Flying over to the LA Beach House. We haven't been here since, like, I think it was, like, episode 21. What's up, dude? All the other LA's, there was, like, five of them tied up outside. And, uh, they're gone. They somehow get untied, the LA's do. And, uh, I've seen them out flying out in the ocean. I've caught two of them, brought them back. And those ones disappeared as well so uh we were down on some malaise and a couple of them are still in here luckily but i'm uh you know what let's go ahead and just play some pig step i am so happy i have this and the alays love this song too ah this is great oh you know what let's uh get some shards and we'll do this right here we'll go boom and we'll go boom and we'll go boom and add some Pig step to the playlist, and uh, this is great, man. On my way back home, this guy's taking a beating, and we already have so many iron golems around town. I'm just gonna take you out, sir. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm just gonna. I'm putting you out of your misery. This is more. This is for you. I'm doing this for you. Where are you going, sir? I'm doing this for you. Starting to think about where I should put the build for episode 35. This is where the mangrove forest was, also the azalea forest. Now it's going to be a birch forest because I ran out of birch wood. Also the long plays, I don't think I ever showed you guys those. Thanks for watching them. If you did, I do appreciate you. I do hope they're still helping people out get some better sleep or studying, relaxing, anything like that. So just, yeah, pre appreciate you watching the video still if you are. But I figured I'll show you right here. We have a giant cozy windmill that we made in a long play. And this one took about two hours to build. And this one was super fun. I'm surprised we actually didn't have a windmill in this world yet. But we finally do. I'm actually going to take a little bit farther away look at it from up high so you guys can take a look i love this thing man and um, i might build more of them but with like an amethyst tip and a crimson tip as well it'd be nice to get more windmills around town 
Also, normally for thumbnails, I'll put some trees around the back so you don't see as much of the buildings behind. But in this case, we have some mangrove trees that I decided to put behind. And I don't think I'm going to take them away because I like the way that they add a little bit of the depth between this track right here and the builds. They surrounded the axolotl sanctuary hole. And I don't know, it just I, I think it all makes it come together just a little bit more. And when we're leaving, it makes it kind of seem like we're walking out into a swamp. And while we're over here, I could clean up a little bit of the area. We have a couple shulker boxes over here filled with everything that we need in order to fill up that uh, bone meal center that we made in a long plane. Actually, right now is a pretty good time to show you guys that. Anyways, on the other side of the map, leading into the tree farm, I uh, made a little bit of a path with the moss and a bunch of leaves, a little bit of lily pad action going on. I wanted to make a bone meal center because we kept running out of room in the double chests in our house for the bone meal. And so in here, I can pretty much just go in, place down a shulker box. It's not automatic or anything like that. I can go through when I have more inventory space, but I put it in and then I'll just have unlimited bone meal in here from now on. And thank you guys for watching this one too. If you did, it really does mean a lot. And yeah, this one was super fun. I wanted to get this little space filled in because we had the fisherman trading hall over here and the tree farm that we had built in episode 15 and there was nothing to fill this space up. And I thought, you know what? Let's use that pathway effect to make something over here so we didn't have to actually fly or swim anytime we wanted the spruce wood. We also actually have one more long Long play because uh, I was actually gone over the weekend and I uh, didn't have time to do episode 35 and uh, so I got an extra long play done and it's this giant wheat field and I hope you guys enjoyed this one this one was one of the most fun long plays I had made in a while it, it was just nice to go ahead and make I'd like making circles circles in Minecraft it's always fun and going ahead and getting more wheat it's just what I wanted because uh, I wanted to make a mud build pretty soon and in order to make mud builds with mud bricks you need a lot of mud mixed with a lot of wheat this island is missing a little bit of life though I do have a cat that I got on the long play this guy's chill if you guys want to name this cat feel free to throw some names out too there is only one answer and that is chickens we must throw chickens down here chickens are the only way these chickens will bring life to this they will fertilize the lands and they will be able to graze upon these lands i think we have like 15 to 20 chickens out here now so that's that's quite a few for an island been adding these cattails to builds more often as well. I think it just adds a lot of life to the sides of grassy areas with the water, and I, I'm starting to like it a lot more. On the last episode, we had built this giant bamboo farm, and don't mind the azalea trees with the wood sticking out here. I just came back here every once in a while for a couple extra azalea leaves, and I haven't taken the oak wood yet, so don't, definitely don't mind that. But let's uh, let's go in here. I'll show you guys real quick. Uh, this is our bamboo farm. If you guys didn't watch the last episode, feel free to check it out, and thank you if you did watch it. I do appreciate the support. I'm loving this. I'd never really put so much uh, work or so many blocks into a bamboo farm. I usually make them a lot smaller. I'm getting ready for the 1.20 update because uh, with all the bamboo wood coming up and the rafts coming up, I want as much bamboo as possible. As I'm scanning this new birch forest area that we made next to the windmill, I kind of want to just take all of these. Oh, yo, we got new bees. Let's go. I'm going to take down your tree, but I'm glad that we, uh, that we got your hive. Probably just take down a bunch of these birch trees, clear an area. I I think uh, it's about time we get something over here because we haven't built anything over here other than the windmill, I guess, but anything over here since this cartography trading hall. Let me gulp up all this birch wood real quick as fast as I can. I'm gonna go up to them real quick, go bing, bang, boom, and bop. Yo, we got another beehive. Damn, we're getting a lot of them popping up over here. Okay, and I actually just had a crazy idea, so let's go grab this one as well. Rainbow Mountain, that pathway that we had made two episodes ago, let's actually fly over there. I'm gonna take these bees nests real quick and ouch okay that kind of hurt but I'm gonna take these bees nests real quick you know just go right about there and take another one and go right over here. I don't know why it took me so long to think of this but why did we not put beehives on the path sooner? We have another one. What do you know, dude? This is crazy. A couple stacks of birch. That should be good for any fence gates or any, like, fence posts that we want to use in this build, which we probably will. I've been using a lot more birch lately. I used to neglect it. Now I'm kind of using it a lot more. But uh, let's continue going through. I'm just going to lay some water out so I have space to figure out what I'm going to make for this butcher trading hall. This one can actually just go right next to here. I yeah, I feel like next to the windmill. We need, we need some bees. I have my little setup though for my typical builds. Let's go ahead and put the bed there and actually wait, where is, oh wait, do we have it? We have the stone cutter. It's already here. We got to get the stone cutter out, ready to go. You know what? Just for uh, reassurance, I'll get a crafting table on each side and we'll put a lantern on each side so that nothing spawns here. We have our setup ready to go. 
Now we have been using a lot of cobbled deep slate lately, but there actually isn't anything with cobbled deep slate over here that uh, uses the base as cobbled deep slate. So I figured, you know what, let's get some of that over here. Start laying some foundation. This is going to be probably a big L shape or a T shape. Ah, who am I kidding? Every time I say it's going to be some shape, I end up like taking some part of it down and then making it some different shape. I was thinking we actually haven't used the tough material as a uh, building structure, so I think what well, that's what I'm going to do. I'll probably have an entire tower of this build, an entire section that is uh, just completely made out of tough. And we have the ability to jump super high, so it's going to make it go real fast. This tower is absolutely already massive, and we've already used uh, maybe 10 stacks of tough, so I'm thinking this will probably be the last layer of three right here. I want to jump down and... Eh, actually, before I go any taller, I want to jump down, probably get rid of what we have already right here with the cobbled deep slate. And I'm actually just going to start making a line like this. The cobbled deep slate is going to be very tall also, but it's going to be more bridge-like. Build a smaller version of the house going this way with a little bit of the cobbled deep slate. And I'm loving this hopping effect here because we can jump so high and it just makes everything so easy. You don't need scaffolding right away. Eventually, I will need scaffolding. I always do, but for right now, this is making it pretty nice. We're gonna have a courtyard out here. I want it to be a little symmetrical, so I'm actually just going to start putting one, two, three. Bunch of spruce logs out this way. I want this to uh, feel more like the center of the home, kind of like the town center. After one stream on Twitch, this thing got very tall, very quick. We even have a small villager army growing down there. They want to be butchers. They're the first in line. They want to see what it's all about. I started building a little midsection here with diorite, actually, instead of cobbled deep slate and tough. The back of the tough tower, it's starting to look nice. I have to build it a little bit taller, I think. And then this archway over here with the cobbled deep slate mixed with this house structure. This one right here, this looks a little bit more normal. Kind of like everything that we've been building, but the rest of the house, this is kind of strange. If we hop in, this will probably be a communal area where they can chill. I have birch for the floor as of right now, and it's all just a very void, empty space. Might be a good idea to slap some windows up in here to make this place start feeling more like a home. Of course, we got the wall, defense to chain to lantern action. I got that on the bottom row, and the double jump over here makes it super easy. I'll probably get that on the second row, maybe even a third row if we end up going higher. Taking a step back, this build is nice, but its I thought it was bigger than it actually was. It's kind of just the same size as everything else. We're going to have to go a little bit above and beyond to kind of make this thing a little bit bigger. But I'm going to make some windows here so we have a way to look through on the second floor. I've been trying to work on making flatter windows, so that's why you've been seeing a lot of slabs used up here. Get a couple things lined up here. We have the lanterns, we'll get the fence gates, we'll get the actual fences in, and then I had the tripwire hooks up here, but now they're gone. Put those up here. I love putting the tripwire hooks on windows recently. I don't know why. It's just my favorite, but uh, the last thing to do the roof is usually just to get it texturized up with the trap doors. Then we're actually going to go down. We have this roof right here to finish. I think we'll keep going up with the campfires, just kind of going up a slab at a time. I like a gradual roof going up um, to a point. I never really made a roof go at this 90 degree angle right here, so uh, this is a first and I'm excited to keep trying it. Sometimes instead of the wooden planks, I'll just straight up use the logs themselves because uh, they, they kind of look nice on the roof especially when they're stripped and they're right in between some campfires. Now, I want to keep building this tower up, but I feel like we should get these archways done first, so let's just build up real quick. I have some cobbled deep slate stairs. Yes, right here. We'll go through like that. Probably end up making the arch look somewhat just like this. Honestly, it, o it only has to be that simple. I was kind of confused on what to do with this side, so I kind of just made some windows with flowers in it. We've got a bee over here trying to hang out. Crawling up the back side, though, I know we do. Yep, right here. We have to finish out these campfires. I got to put them all into place. Make sure nothing's burning. And we finished the windows up here, too. So now we have four windows over here. We have two windows over there. Now, the side of the tower with all of the tough, I figured spruce was a kind of... It was a good contrast. And the azalea was a good contrast as well. The tough is just such a gray color. It's very neutral, and so it's kind of nice. You can put wood and plants all over it. Unfortunately, though, there's no tough walls, and so the closest thing I could find was a cobblestone wall, and I mean, it works, but I do wish we could find something a little better. I'm going to go over here to try to put a cobblestone wall right there, too. On the side here, I've been putting the potted plants with the dead bushes in it, and the flowering azaleas stacked too tall, and uh, then we go below it with the oak fences with the lanterns below. 
don't want the tower to be too decorated, so I think just having the corners decorated is just plenty enough. Also, we do have it arched right over here and on the other side, but over here, since it was hooked up to the roof on this building, I just figured, let's just hook up some random flower pots on the side of the building. This guy already made his way in here, which I am just, I'm A-OK -okay with that, sir. You can be in here as long as you want. I am going to go over here, though, and uh, see if I can get this decorated. If you want to go back in there, that'd be cool. Actually, let's go out and grab another villager. We actually have a couple boats that we just kind of left out on the side of the road, hoping that a couple of them would just, you know, just hop into the boats like they normally do. Looks like we managed to catch a villager and a cat. No, cat, you're not supposed to be in here. Okay, so... Let's get, uh, let's get these guys out of the boat, and, okay, so let's get you back in the boat. Sir, where are you going? Get over here, get in the boat. Okay, there we go. Let's, uh, let's go this way. I feel like I have spent so many hours transporting villagers by boat. Pretty soon, there is a long play coming with the villager transport system. You guys, uh, keep your eyes on the lookout for that. Passing through the beautiful lush land bridge, and, okay, okay, we're breaking lily pads, of course. We have made it all the way back over here, but unfortunately, this guy has not uh, changed his job. Sir, why aren't you forgetting your job? You, you don't need to be a fisherman. You want to be a butcher. Uh, so I guess uh, if you are if you don't want to be a butcher, you can join the other dudes that didn't want to forget their jobs either. I, I got something planned for you guys. You guys, on the other hand, hey, and the wandering trader, don't you, don't you disappear from me, bud. What do you got? White tulip, uh, orange tulip, a little bit of mop black. Okay, I'll take the tulips off your hands. It's time to let loose these villagers upon the- What are you doing, sir? You're, you're going the wrong way! Okay, let's uh, let's get you guys out of the boats. All of you guys are about to become butchers. This is, this is gonna be great. Uh, most of them are just kind of standing here in place, so I might have to help them out. What if I just kind of make it so they have less room to bop around? Let's go this way, guys. Come on, you got this. All right, they're starting to move. Okay, all right, let's go, boys. Literally flooding these guys into position because they, they, they're just too stubborn. I know last episode I said that villagers are my new favorite mob. I, I take that back. I take that back. I'm going to stick to baby turtles and baby horses. And the last two are going to fight. Hey, buddy, get in there. Hey, get over there. Get over Yeah, get over No, 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 no. Oh, come on. You know what? Okay, I'll just, I'll just do this. So that we can be sure- there we go. Everybody st everybody stay put. Gotta come back and clean up my mess. Got a lot of boats everywhere. I Got a lot of walls and dirt here. Most of these guys I'm probably gonna have to move into place with the water, but some of these guys, uh, maybe it'll be a little easy. Okay, never- okay. Uh, oh, I was literally- I was gonna say he might be doing it right in front of our eyes. Sir, how about- okay, he's going in. He's in! That's exactly what I need out of you, sir. So what do you want to- okay, he wants me to buy some rabbit stew from him. You know what? I'll buy that rabbit stew, and you know what? I'll even buy more. Let's uh, let's take a bunch. Sir, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to take your leads, and I know no one in here is gonna do anything about it, so this is this is what's happening here. Sorry, dude. And uh, you, I don't need you. Uh, what are you doing? Mingling, co-mingling with the villain. It's not allowed. It's not allowed. You're gonna have to go. All right, you guys are all gonna have to start getting into place now, you hear? Villager AI is so strange. They just want, all they want to do is go up these stairs right here, and they can't because I put trap doors here on purpose so they couldn't go up the stairs. And there's actually nothing up here yet. I, I literally haven't decorated anything up here yet. They're trying to get up into nothing. I'm just going to scoot you in here, and you're just going to, you, hey, buddy, don't fight it. Don't fight. No, 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 no. Get in there. Hey, no, no, no. Don't fight it, buddy. Hey, please. That, and, and there you go. Good job. And you, you saw what happened with the last guy. You know, we're, we're just going to chill. Everybody's going to have a good time. Got all these guys into place. Now I'm going to do a big old spray. Bruce trap door bomb. These things are about to go everywhere. And then you know what? Birch buttons. These are these are gonna go in the middle. Nice little balcony area up here with the anvils. Always gonna look nice. To smack everything on this side as well. It is looking bare on this side compared to over here. Alrighty, now this beacon is just kinda, you know, along the side of the back, and I need to start decorating the back side. So uh yeah, this thing's gonna have to go somewhere else. Now we can finally uh, close up this side here. And you know what? We can actually finally get a little bit of a doorway going. Let's put that right here. Maybe actually get some of the campfires used up on the sides. Let's get this here, this here. And where's the shovel? Right here. Let's complete that door. You know what? Not too bad. And well, now that all these guys are actually stuck in place and we have a little bit of this decorated, we can start placing other blocks that are job blocks usually. So uh, now that these guys are full-time butchers, they're not going to be taking any of these barrels, fisherman jobs, or the composter farmer jobs. Can go ahead and place some composters right in here. Actually, I can go out here too. Oh, it's nighttime. I should probably sleep, but I gotta put some composters right outside. So we have an awning right here, but I think it would actually be pretty cool if we had another one on this side. Actually, and if we went over this way, we could get actually two of them. 
finish the structure for this part right here all right we got that down and then we'll actually get the plants back over here if i can get that into the hot bar we got one two three and four and all of these are looking good that does remind me actually we need to get the plants on the roof as well let's fly right past the windmill and oh actually the oak trap doors those aren't up here yet either this roof it ended up kind of looking like a witch hat but uh you know i kind of like this a lot it's like the episode six mob farm if you haven't watched that episode feel free to check that out that thing is huge it's actually speak of the devil it's right here this thing is way bigger than what we're building right now but uh it's it's pretty fun i like this thing it's like scaled down a little bit but uh it still looks okay can't complete the top without putting a flag all the way up here i'm gonna go ahead and use the uh smooth quartz for this one like i usually do and we'll go down here we'll get boom and that's a flag right there we can actually go down here and get another flag right over there oh landed it perfect and last but not least we'll get the third guy right over here i'll have to go boom and then we'll go boom and boom i almost forgot this would have been very embarrassing the very part of the flag that was the most important that last little slab we ended up building right up into the windmill so we can just hop right back and forth in between the builds that uh, was kind of unexpected but i'm glad i left myself enough room here to jump in between something about this little corner right here is speaking to me and it's saying i need to put some end rods right there Still got a little bit of work to do on the pathway and the exterior. I mean, this it's, it's starting to look pretty, pretty finished and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm, I'm satisfied with the way it looks. The only thing is uh, the inside right here on the inside. It's it's getting there. It's nowhere near the like as detailed as the outside is, but it is definitely getting there. If I were to go upstairs, actually, you would see that uh, there's actually not really any decoration. And what I'm thinking is uh, bringing some grass up here in order to make some areas where there's going to be some mobs and they're going to be held. I know there's a lot of cows over here, and oh, what's up, little dude? The, the villager repopulation has uh, begun. But uh, you know what? I might as well just bring this cow. We only really need the two to start off, so I'm just going to take you guys, and you're going to come with me. Bring in these guys through. You're going to come with me. I'll open the gates. Come on now. Go ahead and follow me up the stairs now, cow. Come on. Okay, so they might have a little bit of a hard time. Let's let them in. All right, come on. Let's go this way, guys. All right, guys. Come on. Absolutely great. Come on. Keep going. Keep going up the stairs. Yes. All right, we got both guys over here. I'm just going to have to ask you guys to stay up on the grass as I just go ahead and trap you in here. And you stay like, oh, wait, hold on. Never mind. They're already trying to leave. Get over here, guys. Just get over here, and uh, then I will just leave you like that. Sorry about it. feel a little uh, evil kind of caging them up like this, but you know, it is just, uh, it's just the way it has to be. The chickens have been put into place. I will be, uh, you know, just uh, adding more chickens throughout here. I put a lot of chickens and a lot of cows in here. And I also, instead of using the oak fences, I started to use the spruce fences because, I don't know, just started to add a little bit more color and more depth. I also thought it'd be a good idea to come up here and put smokers up here as if there were actually going to be a giant chimney coming out of here. Because we didn't put a chimney in this build yet. But other than that, I am thinking this build is pretty much complete. I'm actually really excited about the interior in here. I have some fish slapped up on the campfires in this downstairs kitchen area. And we have 14 villagers all slapped up into position. I put a back door right out here that leads to the cartography center. And I also actually added a bunch to the bottom wall here while I was finishing the back side. I thought some extra tough pillars would add a little bit more. I don't know. This is, it just makes it seem a lot more interesting than just straight down with the tough. But we roll around to the other side. It's the same on both back sides, but uh, just two different door entrances. Pretty pumped about this though, because I can walk around here. I can't wait to get something built up here. I got a bunch of jungle trees in the back now. I already got iron golems over here and a cat over here. This is crazy. You just move you move the villagers in and the, the cats and the golems, they come right in. Now to actually fly back in and gauge where these are gonna go. I'm actually, you know what? A chimney on this side and a chimney on this side. Actually, a chimney on each side of the roofs is probably uh, four different areas where the roof is, so let's get four different chimneys. First, I'll just go right here. We'll get some granite. We'll get a brick we'll get a brick and one more granite and then we'll get the campfires i would have to say it's not too bad i'm liking the uh, the brick and the granite contrast with all of the neutral colors get a big square guy right here in the middle this one's a little bit bigger because it's right above the kitchen so i figured you know it just only makes sense and the roof up here i mean i could i don't really know actually where to start you know let's just take out this four right here i don't need oh my god i didn't i completely forgot there's two cows that escaped baby cows and they made it all the way up the stairs you know what 
They're just gonna have to chill there. That's that's their home now. Not too bad, man. I'm actually really liking this. And now this building is it's just breathing in and out, and I, I love it. So, last thing that we gotta do, I feel like these guys. The uh, these guys are some troublemakers. I went ahead and I got a new bell over here. We have like eight bells now, and there's a bunch of brand new beds over here. So all these villagers, they have places to sleep if they want to. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take a chance. They can get out of these boats, and if they want to run all the way back to the other side of the village where they came from, then by all means, go for it. But you know what? If you guys want to chill on this side of the world, then you know what? Make it your home. Brand new building and brand new village. We got a new windmill over here. All these guys, ah, this is going to be good. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining on all of the Twitch streams. It is twitch.tv slash waxfraud if you want to join anytime. Hi everybody, Waxfraud here and welcome back to episode 36 of the hardcore Minecraft Let's Play series. We are in the brand new Butcher Trading Hall. Walking just outside of it right now. This thing was extremely fun to build. The biggest thing that I have built in a while here. And it was fun to use all these different types of blocks. We even have iron golems that are popping up over here now. The village over here is thriving. And we are on day 4950 right now. So I'm trying to get this next build done before day 5000. We actually only have about 50 days to get that done. I think I can do it. Before I show you guys what we built on the last two long plays, and before we get the new goals on that goal board, I'm actually going to stop over here at the top of the iron farm. This is something that we built in episode 5, but it's something that I've been actually kind of neglecting. It's not like this roof is bad or anything, but uh, it just it needs a little bit of spice here. I'm going to actually add a couple of campfires. Oh man, you can hear the iron golem falling out right now. I'm super sorry about that, dude. Man, I'm trying to- another guy's getting taken out. It's making, like, fixing this roof not very peaceful. Get some trap doors up here, and you know what? This is looking okay. I know it's not much, but it's something that I've been flying over. This, like, bare roof, and there goes another one. Man, this iron farm really just does the job, but I'm glad that I won't have to look at that anymore. Let's, uh, let's go check out this alpine lake that we built on the first long play. We gotta fly up and around all of these trees, and we'll go up to our mini home base. As soon, I'll get like a gazebo thing up here, but right for right now, I think just the bed and the crafting table and the ender chest, that's, that's doing okay with me. I put some fish in here. As you can see, that salmon's kicking it like a dolphin. All the other fish are doing good down here, too. I was gonna put some axolotls in here, but they would just, you know, you know, you can't have any fish. One puffer fish is in here. I, I stay away from that guy. The rest of these guys are cool, though. I'm gonna keep on putting some more tropical fish in here. This is our third little mini aquarium that we have and i'll probably keep on adding more i'm loving these aquariums actually thinking at some point we're gonna do a dedicated salmon aquarium and a dedicated cod aquarium tropical fish dedicated aquarium would be cool but then i would just want to collect all the tropical fish types and i'm pretty sure there's like more than a thousand i don't know how many there are but i'm pretty sure there's a lot got an ender chest from up there i'm actually going to take it all the way back to the build that we had last time let's throw this carpet down all the way right here, there's a new bell, because I'm trying to get a lot more villagers over here. And if we walk over, I think an ender chest right here, that's just going to seal the deal for the new type of village. Wait, actually, now the deal is sealed. While we're here, and before I forget, I want to show the master trades. We have dried kelp blocks, and we have sweet berries. So I'm thinking a sweet berry farm is in order. Also, a kelp farm is in order. So a little bit more redstone. Probably going to have to go mining for some of that. And this trading hall, man, I think we actually only have two left. We have to do a toolsmith trading hall, and I think a leather worker trading hall. And then we're good to go on all the trading halls. And then we're just going to have to wait for more job types to come through for more trading halls. Like if we could get a gardener trading hall, or like a guardian trading hall. Or if there was a beekeeper trading hall, or a scientist trading hall like one that sold potions that would be awesome what we're in right now is the beginning of the transport system for all of the villagers that are going to be coming from the desert i actually have two mine carts and i don't know why i opened up that shulker box but let's go on this right here right now we finally have an entire transport system just like the one on the other side but now we're on the north side of the island a bunch of jungle trees behind us and we have a bunch of new land that we can build out in the ocean and actually out over here next to the path that leads to rainbow mountain this thing is a little loud but man i love it it's an easy way to get all of the villagers over here we're gonna pass through rainbow mountain here on the inside and we pop out a little tiny hole right there and uh we're actually gonna have to make another one over here actually if we get off can i wait get back here get back please come back get back here what I was going to say is we can jump over here. I actually have some yellow still with me from the stream that I was doing earlier, but we can come up and I'll make a, probably a little bit of an archway 
I'm thinking we have orange and then red and then as, as soon as we get to the pink, oh, actually I forgot about these lights. So these lights will probably have to come in too unless we bring the arch just right over here. But it's nice to see the yellow over here now. We can finally start going inward with the warm colors. We're passing the very first pyramid that we spawned next to, and we actually spawned right over there, if you guys remember from episode one. The village will start to fade in over here. We have plenty of villagers already that are spawning. I laid down a bunch of beds, and there's no shortage of lighting on this, so a lot of the times these mobs that are going to be spawning at night in the desert are going to be a little bit further away from this now. We have a little bit of an area, and oh yeah, I forgot, I totally forgot. Hold on a second, what's going on? Oh, this villager is just in the way. Wait, do you want to, sir, do you want to just get in? Wait, get, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to send this back down. Maybe some of these guys just want it. Yeah, let's do it. You know what, sir? This is, this is absolutely perfect. I'm just going to send you right back up there. You can just have a good time, sir. See ya. This guy right here, he's just, I, I don't know what's up. Uh, I'm just going to send him. I'm going to send him up. Oh, never mind. This guy got sent. Okay, never mind. This guy got, all right, we'll see you, dude. Got a bunch of beds set up here now for all these guys. I'm actually just going to start throwing a bunch of bread around because uh, I'm going to start throwing these guys back to the village, but these guys got to start making... Oh, there you go. Got right to it. I think we got a bunch of baby villagers upon... Hey, what's up, dude? How you doing? Go up here, throw some bread at you, and you know what? I'm going to throw... Where are you at, sir? No. Oh, wait. That's a nitwit. You know what? The nitwits can still... Can they breed still? I'm not sure. Let's just throw a bunch of bread at this guy. Take the rest of the bread, please. We have so much. And actually, I think we just doubled the population, like, really quickly. There's four baby villagers just flying around here right now. And I got to go back and catch up to these villagers that we sent off. I hope they're not too far. Looks like we caught them just in time. What's up, dudes? How you doing? It looks like one of them is slightly off the path. Oh, no, they're both still on the path. I actually almost just took one off the path right there. I need to stay back. <laughs> Speed Racer 1 and 2 coming in hot. Oh my god, that was really quick. Okay, let's get these guys out. Acclimated back into society. Dudes, love y'all. Stay here. Okay, no, 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 no. What are you doing, sir? This is... Hold on. Well, now I'm stuck. Let's get you... Sir, this is not the way. Let's get you back. Oh, there you go. This is your new home, your new society. These guys are going to absolutely love it here. Sir, you're going to have to, you know, do a little bit more than hang out right next to where you just came in off the train from. But uh, let's put these back. I'm going to go back to the goal board because it's about time that we put about nine new goals on this board. Back over at the starter house, butcher trading hall, you are gone. Got a couple initial ideas here. First, we're going to do a goat sanctuary. Then I'm thinking we do a donkey sanctuary. And a Strider Sanctuary also. Then I know it's been requested a lot, so I think I'm finally going to get to it and put it on the board. A Cat Sanctuary is, I think, uh, in order. Also, it's about time we get a kelp farm going, because those new butchers, we're going to they're gonna trade kelp blocks with them and sweet berries with them. After the sweet berry farm, I think a glow squid farm is going to be something that we're going to want. And then I think for the two trading halls left, I think it's the Leather Worker Trading Hall and the Toolsmith Trading Hall right here, we have... Nine brand new goals. This is looking fantastic. This pup is staring at me and he's telling me, I think we should maybe do a strider sanctuary. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this I'm, this goal. It's going off the board right now. And we're going to fly over to the nether. Let's go find some striders. Back in the nether. We should probably make a nether hub pretty soon too. I know in the comment section, a lot of people have been asking for that. What's going on, Clarique? How you doing? Thanks for chilling in the nether, keeping it safe over here. I think we're going to hop down this way though there's got to be some striders chilling down here and oh my god literally immediately we got some right here and i we got our strider riding a strider right here i want to be a strider riding a strider making a little delta path down here so i can get a little bit closer to these striders lay a saddle out on you and lay a saddle out on you and hey hey what do you where do you think you're going buddy hey yeah get back here you know what i'm gonna ride on you first and we're gonna go this way we are chilling we are officially chilling on a strider okay so now we just have to place a little bit of a home for him and i'm thinking maybe right under our nether portal right down here might be a good spot i might have to clear some of this out and uh yeah it's gonna be a little bit tough but uh at least we got this guy right here to help us and exploring down here is gonna be a little bit more fun now too we are going to have to name these striders, though, and I'm thinking names that start with S's are going to be the best, so let me know what you guys think. And I've been loving those names. Ow! And I've been... Jizo, dude! Been loving those name suggestions, by the way, so uh, appreciate you guys for leaving those down in the comments. Oh my god, he is so cold. He's shivering. Dude, get back in. Get in the lava! Get in the lava, sir! How can you see, dude? Your eyes are so far from each other. 
So we switched up the initial look of the nether portal that gets us to and from the base right outside the overworld, and now we can get down with some twisted vines. I'm hoping that there's no hoglins down here because uh, they do tend to spawn sometimes, but uh, we got the gold pants, so we should be good for now. Yeah, we got some over there. Look at this. We have a nice little tower to get us to and from our little strider sanctuary that I think is going to end up going right over here. So if we actually take a step back, it actually kind of makes it look like we do have a lot of room. We have quite a bit of room, a lot more room than I originally thought, so we'll probably expand a little bit. Oh god, we have a lot of hoglins now. Big on! Actually, this is dangerous. This is dangerous. I should get out. I will just go up here and shoot them from right here because this is way less dangerous. Now, before I start bringing striders over here and caging them up, I thought it would actually be kind of cool if we made this kind of look like a spa, like a natural hot spring, but it's in the nether. So I think that's what we're going to start doing. I'm going to start making a couple pathways out from this, a little bit over the lava, and I think we can make this look pretty cool. Went ahead and took the time to stream real quick so I could get a couple of the layers out here. It actually kind of started looking like one of the bastions, you know, like with the magma cube spawners. But one of my favorite things to do here is the lava with the smoke coming out of it. Add some ambiance, and the only way to do that is actually to get a soul campfire down there with a gate over it so that you could place the lava right on top of it and make it seem like the lava's smoking. I'm going to drink a potion of fire resistance real quick so that I can jump down because there's a lot of these that I wasn't able to get. And if I can actually just go into the lava like this, I can go under where that gate is and go bam. We can put that right there. If I go up, it actually should be working. I'm hearing a hoglin though, so I kind of want to get up and make sure there's not a hoglin around. Never mind, I must just be hearing things. Hoglins just keep on spawning. Oh, yep, never mind. I hear them there. What are you guys doing? You're too close for comfort, and you're gonna have to go, and you over here, you're gonna have to go too, and see you later. This is such a dangerous area. I'm glad we have the uh, potion of fire resistance, but I need to go down here. Yep, there's one right there, and I can put that right there, and I can also go over one more and put that right there i believe that's it let me go up to the tippy top it's dude swimming around in lava is so sluggish got the smoke coming out of both of these now nice okay we can keep going and get this all the way around now this little awning right here it's it's a little strange i know but actually um i have some flowering azaleas with me i know that uh they do not belong in the nether but uh, they are one of the few plants that actually reach the chain so with that in mind, I decided to keep them there. Also, the inside of the soul lanterns has a little bit of pink that kind of matches. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it works. Also, might be kind of cool to go up here, place this, place that, get a little bit of azalea action going up on the top. It actually also might be kind of cool if we relit all these campfires. I took them out at first because that's usually what I do for the roofs in the overworld, but I'm not really ever gonna be on top of it over here. So let's take a flight out real quick just to see what we are working with so far honestly wow hold on a second this is crazy this is looking just like a bastion hoglins again man they're always why are they always in there okay we just saw one push another one in man that's just how it do be i want to fly in here pretty slow nice i actually like this awning a lot i'm gonna go ahead and uh, probably just do this all the way around on four sides this guy right here why are you doing this too man i'm gonna boop you out here you don't need to be here I'm also thinking that a barrier fence around this thing with some crimson wood might, uh, that might be kind of nice. So actually, let's go out. We have one, maybe just three from this initial block, or just use this as one, two. We'll go one, two, and then three out right here. So that would be probably down to here. I just need to flow down to the bottom. Hopefully, I can get there soon. I see that. Actually, you know what? Let's just go out one, two, like that. You know what? That's smarter. Love me some fire res, man. We are chilling, vibing in the lava. I am absolutely loving this. Hmm, after second thought, I'm thinking this might not work because the fences, every time we do this, it just kind of, you know, takes away the lava around it. It's not like water where it flows into the fence. The lava actually cannot go into where this fence is. So that's, uh, you know, that's kind of a bummer. Okay, we have an intruder. Sir, get out of here. What do you, see, I told you... <sighs> What are you doing, man? What I was gonna say is we need to go back over here, grab a lava bucket. I think the fire res is about to be gone. Uh, let's go this way. Let's get out here. Can I jump over here? Can I jump over here? Yes, I can. Let's go down here. I forgot to take this guy out. Let's do that and put you back. Perfect. We're gonna figure out a barrier. We're gonna figure out a fence. We'll get this done. Also, hoglins, man. Why are they ever... Get out of here, dude. Get out. This is my home, and you are in... you're invading. You need to be out of here. Actually, this is the Strider's home. I'm sorry. So we cleared out most of the area here, and we have that awning on all four sides, and we even put an entrance awning out here as well with a little bit of a dock that's completely made out of warped trap doors. And so I'm actually kind of liking this because I've never really made anything like that. And I still need to complete one over here, but I was thinking about putting this 
lava here instead of these magma cubes. So I'm actually going to have to come back with a lot more buckets of lava if I wanted to fill this up. But I wanted to go around with the exterior with some lava because I think it's just going to brighten up the outside. That's what I already did with one block on the outside here, and I need to come back even further. Of course, my favorite way of getting the lava is drinking a big old fire res potion going out here. Actually, let's just throw that back in there. And then we can actually take a deep dive with a bunch of buckets all the way down here. I like to just go bam, 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 and bam. Go all the way back to the tippy top, and then we can get out of here. Got a lot of flowing lava, and I got a lot of places to put this stuff here. I think that might clear this area up. Something I almost forgot about, unlucky I didn't, as if I go down here, I wanted to put a chiseled block right below that right there. Yeah, there we go. That way it just makes it seem like a little bit more sturdy, like there's more structure underneath holding all this up. Get one on this side too, and then we'll go bam, and then we'll actually go down even further and grab all the lava that we can. Got some crimson fungus to kind of line up the sides here with, and I think I'm actually going to run out, so what I'm going to do is open this gate up. I have an open area over here that I brought out even further, and if I go over to the crimson wart, right, there we go. Let's just go, oh, now it's actually kind of convenient. We can just bone meal and get as many of these as we want. There's actually still a couple over here that I didn't grab off the floor naturally, so I might grab these first, but uh, the bone meal is definitely going to help. And hold up, what do we have here? I don't remember putting that there. It's a big old spruce. Is that spruce wood? This is, yeah, this is spruce wood. Okay, I don't remember this being here. It's probably when I took a thumbnail for this nether hub for a long play, but uh, it's probably time to get this thing out of here. That's funny too, because I tried to clear out anything that was like just an obstacle or kind of didn't seem like it was supposed to be there for the world tour and world download back in episode 25. So this has been here for a while. This thing is looking crazy from far away. All we gotta do now is I think maybe just get some striders in there and maybe brighten up the backside. For starters, we do have this giant hill that we had made and uh, it's pretty it's pretty dark over here. So we could just make a hole out here, make it seem like lava's coming out. And this is probably gonna flow all the way to, guys, you gotta get out of the way of the lava. Get out of the way of the lava, this will hurt you. Sir, you are right in the line of sight. Okay, good, 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 good. Let's see how far this thing will go down this way. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna go all the way down. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, it covers up the whole thing. I guess I should have guessed that. I like having a lava waterfall here because it makes me not have to, you know, decorate and add any trees in the background. Probably end up planting some trees in this wide open space right here, though. Got another saddle and I got another warped fungus on a stick. Let's, uh, let's head out this way. I do see some striders out in the distance. How much fire? Oh, we have 30 seconds left. Hold on. Let's go over here. Can I put a, uh, can I go over here and put a saddle on you real quick? Sir, I'm running out of time. I gotta put a saddle on you, and I'm gonna, let's go do that, and let's do that. Can I get on? Let me on. I'm sorry. Well, this is not working real quick because the Strider's already riding that Strider, so let's go get another saddle, and let's go find one that's not being ridden. Take a nice, gentle flight down. Ooh, wait, this guy's already on. Okay. Oh, oh there we go. All right. Perfect. I forgot we already got a saddle on some of these guys. I'm gonna start walking a couple guys over here into the new sanctuary because I just wanna see if they like it. Let's go this way a little bit. Let's go this way and let's get you next to the lava in here. That way I can just get off and boom, you are in, sir. You didn't go, you know, you don't have to be out the lava. Let's just push you. Let's push you in this way. There you go, sir. I do hope you enjoy. I'm gonna bring some friends. And friends, we did bring, we have quite a few of them in here now. They're all just kind of roaming around. I'm actually going to get down. We have the warped fungus here to uh, go ahead and make some more striders. Wait, let's get you back there. Let's get you over here. Everybody breed. Everybody make more striders. Baby striders, man. These guys are the way. Go over here. We can always make a couple more. Let's get you in here. Let's get you in here. Let's bring another one of these guys in. I'll open this gate. Let's uh, close the, wait, let's close the gate. And I'm off. And you guys are all good, man. Everybody just stay chilling. Let's go and see if some of these guys want to make more striders also let's give you one of these two there you go bud what i did over here was get a bunch of saddles ready and a bunch of warped fungus on a stick ready to go in case we need to get back in here i think i'm gonna have a channel point redemption to get uh viewers names after these striders uh in the twitch chat and by the way uh the overlays for the twitch chat were on the video earlier i forgot to switch over to youtube instead of twitch and uh, i mean i do stream every single day so it was bound to happen at least once and i'm kind of surprised it didn't happen until right now but yeah sorry if you guys are wondering what those names meant or what the subs mean anything like that that's all for twitch and by the way feel free to come any time it is twitch.tv slash wax fraud we do stream every single day and these guys are uh, these guys are crowding me now this is, this is a little strange guys what are you doing so i do feel a little dumb because earlier i was trying to say that you needed fence gates in order to uh, have the lava not fall into the campfire but i'm seeing here that uh, you just don't need that so if i put one right here there you go if i go try to put one in the corner right here too boom there you go 
No gates needed. And actually, all you, you guys can probably tell I have buttons everywhere. I didn't put them right here, though. I started placing buttons down because the hoglins, they were just spawning everywhere. And with buttons here and there, kind of every other block, or, or just sometimes in a straight line, they're, they're just not going to spawn. But they are going to spawn out here, and we actually did put some fence gates up just in case. They're going to spawn out here, though, and I did start bone mealing all this up to make it seem more like a lush land. The uh, the hoglins, though, they're not going to come back in because as soon as they see these warped fungus, they're just going to turn right around for some reason. They're scared of these. They're, they're like giant monsters, and I, I so I just don't understand why they're scared of these things, but they are, so it's kind of nice having them right here, and I could just plant more right here on the ground, and they won't get anywhere near the base. Bing, bang, boom, and bop. Also might as well. I kind of want to go through and make a couple more of these. It just makes the land look a lot nicer. And bone meal that up, get some grass in here. I do want to show you guys, though, real quick, on the last stream that I did, I had taken the time to go all the way around the edge, because I didn't mention that I wanted a fence out here, but I couldn't put it in the lava. Now what I was thinking is this giant fence that I had made, and I'll probably have to show you from farther away. All the way around there is a barrier, and it made it look kind of more fenced in, like a zoo, but I actually do like it. It brings a lot more depth into the build. We have crimson up here, we also have the soul campfires that are still up here as well. I kind of like it. It brought it all together, and I figured since we do have some plants from the overworld, why not bring some lights in from the end? So we have some end rods chilling right in the middle and right on the end. More striders. We want more striders. Everybody, make more striders, please. So many baby striders. This is awesome. We officially have a strider hot spring. I am I'm so excited. Guys, thank you for watching this episode. I really do appreciate it. I can't believe we're 36 episodes down. 37 episodes is about to be next week. Also, guys, we cannot forget we're at day 4,987 right now. So that's uh, that's kind of insane. And I'm thinking that the 5,000 days video is going to come out before episode 37. So be on the lookout for that. Thanks for joining on any of the streams. If you did, I do appreciate you. Thanks for being a Patreon member. And thanks for just watching these videos in general. I, re I really do appreciate all the support. And it really does mean a lot to me, guys. Thank you so much for being here. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Going up to chill in the AFK platform. Am I going to make it? Actually, oh, wait. I think I am going to make it. This is perfect. Okay, so I have barely enough speed to get to the tippy top. And that's amazing. Guys, thank you so much for watching the 5,000 days video. Stay tuned for episode 37. It's coming right around the corner. I will see you guys very soon. Take care of yourselves and do something nice for somebody. Bye.